Definitely not whoever took that video. So you want to get it? <laughs> I wasn't even in it. We're gonna the one was, uh, talk was there was on the couch. What the fuck was that? They handed that back to me. I was like, what wait. video? <laughs> the, bro, the drop. Just, just act like you dropped the drop. Spotify just act like it for chance. Happened, bro. Right. Oh my god, that was nasty. We look nasty in that shit. That was. We look. I I don't open Spotify. Don't record that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's what we starting with. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let me know when you're rolling. I'm rolling. Okay, so y'all can't hear the music. Only I can hear the music. No, it's on the speaker. Okay. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. I was not outside. (laughs) (laughs) No, he wasn't. But my mom was outside. Shout out to Mom Duke. For sure. Every time I say that, y'all get quiet. Your mom's was outside, For too. For sure. All right. 100%. Here we, here we go. My mom was at church. Rory's mom, I don't think, was grooving to this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nah. Where did you pick up on this type of stuff at? No, nah, my family's still rocking with this shit. Probably not as heavy as your parents, but... All right. I like, like the Irish people jamming out to Shaka. Yeah, my, turn- my dad is a big music nerd. He had all that shit in his basement. Uh... Somehow this why is this song still tough all these years later too? It's that beat. This is tough. Yeah, you can't. This sounds like it come out today. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This is so crazy <laughs> I have to cut it off. Uh not before I get some gunshots in here. <laughs> Damn, I'm about to feel guilty cutting this off, but fuck it. I don't need a We're even like the hook rock. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't need a claim from fucking Wherever Shaka was signed to. (laughs) (laughs) Microphone check. One, two, what is this? Welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 189. 88. 88. Fuck. We're almost there. (laughs) Damn it, I had such a good run going. All right, 188. I feel like I I missed the whole, I feel like uh, I missed the whole period of time. We're almost in the Fordham area, right, Mo? No, this is this is we're in Fordham right now. 189th is Fordham. 189th. Like right. that fucking stupid show Ice tried to make me watch Manifest. Mm-hmm. That fucking show was trash. Yeah, it's stupid. Right, we'll talk <laughs> did it take it. place in Fordham? Why did that remind you? No, I'm talking about my t- lapse in time. Oh, okay. Niggas got in a plane, got off in five years, was going, fuck out of here. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, You've never flew United, because well, that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode 188 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Parks is here. Maul is here. Uh, Rory is here. Savon is here. Erickson is here. Ian is here. And there's mad, Ice is here, and there's mad other niggas here. We have guests, left, so let me hit a round of applause for our guests. There we go. We like to we like to be gracious when we have guests. Now, not only do we not, not normally have guests, but we certainly don't have them on a Wednesday, right? No, right. It's true. So this is this the first time in a long time. And I thought the other niggas was like niggas. They was just like they was friends that was around that day, like a guest. Yeah. Uh, but this is a very special occasion uh, here. <laughs> we we have a very special guest. Pusha T is here with us. And I'm going to add the round of applause again, God damn it. And I think, a, I think a gunshot warrants. Yeah, gunshots over the applause for Push. I like the applause. You said I was a nice guy, a really nice guy. Let's keep it applause. Push. Here's the thing with Push. Push walked push. in the room and said hi to every single person. Of course. It was very nice. Of course. Yeah, it was mad good editing. But, but, he got rid of the rapper stereotype quick. Yeah, man. Rappers don't say hi. Asked everyone's on, name. <laughs> <laughs> Rappers don't say hi. Push <laughs> is one of the first niggas, and he don't really get credit for this, but he's one of the first niggas that was like a street nigga to have like uh, pop star representation like Vince Staples does. <laughs> There's a few of you guys out there now. Is You mean like what? You guys, the street niggas are like really well connected in business. Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like you were one of the first on on that on that wave, at least for my generation, anyway. As far as my producer affiliation, no d- d- affiliation oh, just period in, in, in business in business. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's all about the hustle. Um, I think with the content, the content that I have, um, man, it may be a ceiling. To, to the content that I have. And um, you got to hustle other ways. I mean, I do. 
for sure. Do you feel like there's a ceiling to the content? Yeah, man. I, I mean, think you can't feel like that. Yeah, no, it is. It is. I feel. I feel like it is. I feel like, um, you know, it's it's like I look at it like this. You know, you had the 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 whole the whole era, right? And you know, you know his content, all of that. You know, it 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 reached it it reached the ceiling. Um, but everything that happened, everything that happened within you know within that time has to me fallen lower than that. You know, has, has fallen under it. Um, you can't you can't have that crack era bubble. You know, what I'm saying like explosion burst when you got that content. Like he was before me, so me coming under it. I can be great at it. I can be good. We can talk about it, but it's probably not going to hit that. Mm-hmm. You know, as far as you know, commercial success, mm. that type of thing. Yeah. Um, culturally, I feel like you know people are going to dive in on it, and and it's still it's still it's still relevant. But but we've seen people have commercial success with this content. What do you mean? Who? I mean Ross. Uh, that no 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 oh man. no to that level yeah I'm, ta- I'm talking um, about, I'm but that's talk- a high ceiling <laughs> yeah I'm yeah, just that saying ceiling it's is a high. ceiling you know what I'm saying now I get what it's saying there is a ceiling it's up there though yeah. but Hov even, even Hov at some point had to switch yeah. content yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice he definitely went okay, a little more pop his b his b sides I mean, with that content sense. his his singles were it's, not very much that successes I'm just saying you know the hard knock life four point five yeah bong that type shit it's the Jordan the Jordan stigma yeah. See, but I always, I tell new rappers, like, see, for me, you're in that. I tell new rappers, if you're going to rap about drugs. Right. Uh, there's Hove, there's Push, there's Jeezy. And that, that's where my list stops when I'm talking to new rappers that want to do that. You have to have an angle. You have to do it as good as these gentlemen or better because y'all three are like the pinnacle of that to me. Appreciate Listen, that. Push. I like that. I want to start this by shouting out Karen Civil, who texted me and said that she better get her associate producer credit. <laughs> right, and right. Shout out to Karen. She told me the same shit. And listen, <laughs> I'm I'm from the school of credit is important. You have to give it to people. So, Karen, I want to thank you for somehow facilitating this moment. Yes. <sighs> I don't have an icebreaker question, Push. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right to the shits, man. Okay. Rules and beef. There are none. Actually, Rory sent that fucking Styles P. Davies clip to the group chat today. Yeah, I, th- I thought that was a pretty good summary of yeah. Push coming from an era where there were no rules. And Drake is coming down to that era with this battle. He can't make the rules. More or less. All right, I want to I want to try to counter it somehow, but I want to start by stitching on my co-host too. Huge Drake fans, bro. Yeah. I'm, yo, but, I'm so I'm, but I'm so huge I'm so Drake fans. I'm also I'm, snitching. I'm so familiar. It's fine. This one here. Yeah. Oh, I'm a <laughs> great. I'm man. a push fan too. I'm still it's real gang hive. I, I'm snitching. <laughs> like, I'm saying I'm snitching. I'm still. I'm, I mean, what are we talking about? See, but the fact I, that, I had Lord Willen in my bedroom. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but the fact that you are that you are so familiar, and that's what I was arguing yeah. well, arguing about. But that's what I was talking to Rory about before you got here, or I, I was talking to somebody. You are an extremely cerebral man. Like, yeah, nigga, don't look at me funny. <laughs> your 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 understanding is top notch, bro. Am I? Yes. You're right, but that's why I'm here. So that's why. For me, I won't allow that. That's like a cop out. That's why I'm here. I'm here. You I'm can't here because say you guys are like analytical, yes. and condescending. <laughs> yes, you see what? We are Wait, not listen, condescending. Listen, I didn't know I was I'm, condescending. Listen, I'm, I'm only here. I'm only here because y'all are a lie detector test to me. Okay. All of you. Okay. Okay. I respect uh-huh. that. All of you. I look at all of you as a lie detector test. I respect. I'll that. take it. Really. Tell that's me more. Why I'm here. Tell me more about that. That that's that's vague. That's just what I, it is. I want to have a complete I, I understanding. Think, I think that um, I think that uh, like I said, like just very well versed, very well versed in rap, of course. Mm-hmm. Very condescending, mm-hmm. very analytical. You see through the bullshit, right? Even when you be on TV, right? 
Mm -hmm. I watch you when somebody say some bullshit and you ain't supposed to say when you're supposed to be political correct. Your face doesn't even hide it well, brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't even hide it. You just, I can just tell that you not saying nothing. I'm like, <laughs> right. he doesn't believe that. Push, right. I don't know how to be politically hey, correct. Hey, bro, it's fine. I don't. I, that's why, we, I don't. That's I why don't. I'm here. But that's why this platform works because this ain't no great. politically correct shit. That's so, why it's great. And that is, all right, so let's get to it. Uh, no rules in beef. Well, first of all, absolutely not. I agree. This beef has been brewing. This has been like a smokehouse. Uh, yeah, pork almost, steak. <laughs> this shit been brewing for years. I almost want to cool. know where it started from. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people don't know. Listen, I don't know. Let me tell you something. I mean, just to be honest with you, um, I don't know. Like me and him in particular, mm. I really don't know where it started at. Um, I could say that when I came to good. Um, me being on a team, right? I take everything personal. Like I, I can remember, I can remember being on Good and uh, reading the interview, and, and, and Birdman say, "Ain't nobody popping on on Good except Kanye." Mm -hmm. We make new God flow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you gotta kill the three of them and da da da, da all whatever I was saying. And mm -hmm. shit. Okay. Like it's that shit. It's it could be. It could be uh, I'm on one came out and I feel like, you know, him shooting at Sean, some boy, dum dum boy, boy, like you standing next to me. You can't shoot next to me. I might get hit. I might go. That's how I'm. That's how I'm raised in. So you gonna go. go for niggas that are not willing to go for themselves? I'm just saying. I just went. Period. That's just what. I, that's just what I do. But you've so, been going before that. Hold up. Let me think. Go ahead. Let me think. Uh, well, I mean, does it spark with the Wayne affiliation at all too? I mean, yeah, as it, far it could as be all. You know, go? it could be. It could be all. I just can't tell you exactly when it started. But you have, Aunt, but you have this existing with someone who's documented as being a huge Push fan, right? But you know, that's the, you know, that's 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 what's said. But at the same time, you say that, and then they're like, you know, uh, uh, lines here and there that I feel like, and he's really good at that, like. He's great at that. Great at that. Yeah. So Broader line him, that like he's him and Hov under the radar. And he's can, one you know, of the best with the sub. Yeah. Him, him and Hov killed the sub shit. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's like, you know, with everything that was going on between that, the cash money, so on and so forth, I think that, and me being the only one, like, it's only me. Right. Like, mm -hmm. only me. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm the only one that talks. I'm the only one that shoots. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one. But why? From the, Hey, man, I can't speak for other men. I can't, I can't tell you that. But it's not fair, Push, because... What's not fair? Because you wear, you wear many hats. Yes. So on one side, you're the MC. Yeah. On another side, you're the president. Right. And at some point, these roles have to get intermingled. Like, as the president, if your entire squad is scared and nervous and won't fucking rap, Sean, Cy, si, whoever's over there, as the president... And also, in my opinion, the best rapper over there. Why you then take, if you're going to wear that hat, then you got to always wear that hat. And you don't. What do you mean I don't always wear it? You don't always pop out and speak up for and in, in, on behalf of the team, the entire team. I mean, listen, it's, it's a lot. Like, I mean, what is it? What don't, I got to speak when it's like, bro, when, it, when, when you have to do it. You got to go. Like, when I got to go, I got to go, and I go. But other than that, it's like, shoot for every, every, answer for everything every individual man got going on out here. I can't do that. Exactly. So That's you, crazy. So you, so you decide, the cerebral man that I believe you to be, you yeah. decide to zero in on this one camp. That one, nah, that one camp has been a back and forth. It's been a back and forth with that one camp. Who initiated it? And my follow-up question to that is... I'll tell you. Aren't you allowed to have a... Like, to me, Hove is the best rapper ever. I went straight at his head. Bong. There's a few niggas that I love that I go straight at their head. It don't right. mean I love them less. Right? right? It just means at some point you become competition. That's it. That's it. So is it personal or is it just competition? <laughs> Listen, it, it's always been competitive with me. Okay. It's always been competitive. I mean, just where I'm from, man, bro. For real, 
It ain't never personal. It's always rap shit because I don't believe nothing. I done been around here for mm -hmm. too long. Right. I don't believe nothing. Like, yo, bro, you had real Wu-Tang fights. I ain't never had that. Mm -hmm. Ever. Mm -hmm. In my life. Never tried me. Mm -hmm. Nobody. And it's like, so I don't, I don't, I look at it, I look at it as just competitive sparring. What's up? Like, I see these niggas, I see, I, I see everybody. I see everybody. I see them in hotels. I see them. We be in elevators together. Airports. Right. Bruh. It's never the same. You can't, it's you nothing. Can't avoid, yeah. right. You can't it's avoid. It's nothing. Festivals. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, you know, so I don't, I, I've never taken it as serious as anything other than rap, okay. to be honest with you. Mm. Okay. Like, I, I, I mean, okay. I mean, the until, proof must be there. <laughs> un until when? Or does, is that still to this it's day? It's still to this day. I don't believe nothing. I don't believe, I don't, I don't, I, I believe they're harmless. Let me say that. Mm -hmm. I believe everybody's harmless. For sure. Okay. Do you guys have a follow up or am I in here? Um, I want, I mean, I st I'm still trying to figure out how this all started. Mm. And what and what role do you think Kanye plays in all of this? Because I feel like he plays both sides of the fence. And what you're saying is you go for the team. That, so my that's thing all is, I do. That's so my all. thing is, if you're gonna go for the team, like I'm the way I was raised, if we out somewhere and my man pop off and do something stupid and we gotta get it shaken, I get it shaken with my man. Facts. But when we get in private, I'm gonna let my man know, yo, that was some bullshit. Facts. So what, my no, my yeah. thing is with Kanye, I mm -hmm. feel like like he's gotten. Production credit on Drake records where Drake is going at you. Yes, sir. Writing credit. So it's like at some point, I don't know the relationship that y'all have, but it's like, do you speak yeah, to Ye in private? Point. Like, yo, fam, what's what side good of it? You know me and homie got a little back and forth going on, but you producing joints for him, you in the studio. Like, what's up with that? 100%. I mean, you know, I want to... I want to talk about this. If we're gonna, if we're gonna get into that, then let's go ahead and get into. We get into everything. I mean, okay, because yeah. because I because I because I, I would like to. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, yeah. I would love to. Let's All right. So listen, <laughs> like let's 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 just take it. Let's start with um. Let's just start with the shop since mm -hmm. we here already. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know, I fuck with the show. Show's a cool. Show whatever the case may be. Um. Great to see LeBron be opinionated and shit. And curse. Cool, and curse. Great. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, I enjoy it. Maul you know, hates it as a Laker fan, but whatever. With that being said, with that being said, uh, that particular episode, Maverick ruined the whole show for me. It wasn't authentic to me. The way that he would alley-oop those questions to okay. Drake okay. were like nuts. Like it was nuts. I'm and sure. on top of that... It was very, it was very biased, and you didn't even try to camouflage the biasness. Mm. It's okay, but I don't disagree. You know, I just thought it was crazy. I, I don't see how you could even how you could chime in so much and never mention two birds one stone. The 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 um, Cuddy's mental health issues mentioning my wife. I mean, I I don't see how you could breeze or say anything, mm -hmm. not say anything about any of those things. Right, right. Okay, and on and then only speak about. Uh, me wishing death when everybody heard the song. I ain't wish death on nobody. Not, not, that, not I felt that I way. Care. I felt that not, way about that right, too. I didn't think you meant you, you wish that, death, but not that I care. Okay, let's be clear. This guy's heartless. Yeah, at, very, bro. My <laughs> face is upside down. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being the case, um, you know, I I, I sit back and I and, and I just I, I think about it. And I just don't like how the narrative is changed. The narrative is is totally changed. Number one, and not for nothing, it's not true. And I'm gonna be fair. Like I'm gonna be fair in saying, you know what? It may make sense in Drake's mind that, oh, Ye told, Ye told Push about um, my son and my situation. I was in Wyoming. Blah 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 blah. blah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's wrong. Didn't happen like that. Never happened. And the reason why I'm really sitting here is because I figured that you knew. You're like pretty good. You're pretty good with this shit. 
like <laughs> what you're like guessing and shit. Okay. You're like really good. And you even tweeted out when the CEO's blinded by the glow, it's different. I mm -hmm. believe you did that. Okay. Now, with that being said, I did tweet that. That with that being said, you know, that means you know, if you understood the line, you know I've been disgruntled internally for a minute. That ain't that ain't that's because there is no help. I mm. thought, yeah, I thought that was such a. I, I will say, I know you, you know I thought I that was a such mood music nigga. a power. But push, but push. Yeah, that's a, a U-bar. That's a U-bar. No, that's, that's a U-bar. No, that's a U-bar. And what I'm don't so, tell me. But it's I it's know. so powerful. Of, <laughs> it's so powerful of a bar yes. for you to say it and exit. And yeah. you never hear it again. Yeah. Just a real. On that specific record. A real that too. quick. Yeah. It was, it said a lot by saying so little. Right. Unacceptable. Why? <laughs> it's not acceptable. Okay. Because, and I'll tell you why. It's for the, for the exact reason that you're saying, Push. <laughs> if we weren't speaking about such a male dominant competitive sport right now, let's, right. Let's, let's sub us all out and put us in a nail shop and make us all women. No, I'm cool. <laughs> Maul's right. Let's see but where this one goes. <laughs> it's going. It's it's going to where to Maul's question that he asked earlier. Every nigga would hear it and say, "Y'all messy, y'all messy." Like all of the intermingling of the relationships is messy. So no, 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 no. They are with that. I'm not. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not neutral in nothing. I'm about one thing. I'm about good. I work at good. I'm about good, period. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm about good and I'm about my pride. That's what I'm about. Okay. Now, you know, I got, we got off. I mean, yeah, you, please you go know. back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, let's, 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 let's get to the just not being true in, 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 like I said, in Drake's mind, one plus one. Probably equals two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally not true, my nigga. Totally. Not what it is, not what happened, not where the information came from. But you do understand how it could be perceived that way. Perceived that way. Um, Especially yes, when there's a yes, lack of communication. And let me tell you why. And yes, not only not only because of his visit, his trip, but because tweeted apologies, because other members and affiliates doing Rolling Stone interviews when that one narrative is already out there, people take it as the gospel. Drake is a big artist. When he feels or says something in a certain way, they'll take that. They'll mm. and then without without silence, because be mindful. I haven't said a word since I dropped it. You didn't have to. No, listen, no, 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 no. But 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 like he dropped it during my album release. He dropped it during my album release, my press run. We cut my press run. He cut my press run short because we felt like, yo, the album's cracked. We got to. And then I got to come talk about this because the day after comes the joint. Mm -hmm. So we even cut the joint. We even cut the, 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 the talk short because couldn't nobody get past that. Couldn't nobody get past that. And you know what I'm saying? You're not telling me that you and your team did not plan for that. Bro. Y'all thought y'all was just going to say, put y'all shit out and that was going to be the end? <laughs> Bro. I, no, listen. Well, come on. Not. Never that. Oh, okay. Okay. Never that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but I am saying that, um, you know, it coming, it coming so fast off the heels of it during my press run, it's like, oh man, you know, mm -hmm. okay, we at it. We at it. Period, point blank. Did y'all see that little hand gesture you just did? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Period, point blank. That still is there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when a nigga say we add it and does that. Yeah. I've seen that before. That's muscle memory. Nah, yeah. Come on, man. Come on. I'm watching hey, you. That's nah. muscle memory. Steve Stephen didn't clean it's that cool. one up. It's safe in here. Don't worry it's about that. You didn't get rid of that? Ahead, it's safe in here, my nigga. All right, go ahead. Um, where was we at? Shit. Uh, uh, you, you, you gripped up. <laughs> the record, the record, yeah, the record roll, comes oh, out. You gripped up on your press run. <laughs> you stop because you want to focus on the album and not right that response. You know, basically that that's was that's what was we it. did when when they did that shit. We gripped up. <laughs> that was it. But um, you know, with with that being said, 
again and back to the show, back to the show and, and just addressing those things. Please. Um, the information came from 40. It didn't come from Kanye. Mm. At all. Okay. 40, 40, 40, 40 is sleeping with a woman who begins to, you know, you know, he, he talks to her every he talks to her daily, five, six hours a day. Oh, she must have a great personality. Yeah, bruh. Come on. <laughs> Listen. Listen, talks to a woman five, six hours a day, uh, provides opportunity <laughs> for. Provides provides opportunity, opportunity for. Oh, he's a great guy. Oh, and and you know, ultimately speaks <laughs> about how he's disgruntled about certain things. Uh, notor- uh, uh, notoriety and, and things involving involving Drake and, and his career, so on and so forth. To this young lady, yes. Okay. With that, with that also came the fact that Drake has a child. With that also came the 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 uh, the trip that everybody took to go see the child and bring him gifts and all you know, all of this information. She divulged this information. She has a great personality. That's where it came from. Now, I never told nobody that. I never said that to anybody. And I never put that out there. Because the way I see, it was so much power and silence, number one. Then, number two, I was being spiteful. Being spiteful. You got, you know, you apologizing. What are you apologizing for, sir? You 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 didn't give me nothing. You didn't give me anything. In regards to, you know, aiding in this in this drama, mm-hmm. nothing. Did he apologize to Bush? No, <laughs> I don't think. No, he, no. I don't think you was no, no, included. No, 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 no. Oh, yay, apologizing. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. God, I was confused. I'm, I'm sorry. About. What are you apologizing about? Okay, you shouldn't have done that. Nine times ten. I mean, on top of that, there shouldn't have been interviews being done because of that. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Because of all of that right True. there, now dude thinks what he thinks. We got to wear that because mm-hmm. it's not coming out till it's beneficial to me. Only reason it's coming out now, only reason I'm here now, is be- <laughs> for real, for real, is because he was so passionate about the whole MS thing and, you know, they did the backlight and they put the spotlight on his face and when you said, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. It's well produced. Yeah. <laughs> well produced. I, I, I better than this. I thought so. Well produced. <laughs> Shut up, Roy. But your, but your, but your, friend, that out. But your friend is the reason why. That's why. Oh, the that, irony that's in how, it. Yeah. That's how it came about. That's oh. how that information, right. that narrative got to die. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, listen, it needs to die. It's done. That narrative is done. Hmm. Now, on top of that, man, it's like, I let I let them run with all these narratives. I listen, even the even the Jay Prince thing, bro. I don't know Jay Prince. Mm-hmm. I don't know Jay Prince. Mm-hmm. You know, he did a whole book tour on the back of on, on the back of like, yo, I squashed this on and so forth. Yeah, my manager spoke to him, most respectful guy in the world. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I mean, like, you know, all these false narratives. Are fueling just you know and, and covering up, bro. We just had a battle, bro, and you came up on the short end of the stick of it. That was it. Mm-hmm. That was it. Hmm. Is that true? What do you mean? As far as the battle, you feel like he came up yeah. on the short end. Yeah, yeah of course. L- I, mean, mean, I mean, listen. His, let me his tell you something. With his... let, 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 Is let me... there a world that exists where you would say otherwise? No, 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 no. Let me tell you. No, n- not not for me. Got it. Not for me at all. Got it. You got to think. Like, and, and let me tell you, just tell you how, like, how I really feel about that. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's been, I've been, to me, I've been stacking up W's for a minute in regards to this. Like, putting out the artwork and you giving a whole dissertation in your notes and posting that. Mm-hmm. That was a W to me. Jay Prince coming in, stepping in, having to say this. That's a W to me. That's a W to me. That's... The, Nobody's talking for me. Are you bugging? Mm-hmm. Nobody. What? Listen, the shot thrown at Ye after the fact is a W for me. Why are you way over there? I think we we talked about we, that. Like, yeah, yeah man, we discussed that. Like, like, yo, you like, like, He's, like, in all honesty, 
and this is all this is all in silence, bro. Like nothing else has been nothing else was said about it. Like this is what you you're doing all of this. Uh, coming coming going to sit with LeBron, going to sit with LeBron and Maverick 4 months later talking about this shit. We That's a W for me. We don't know when it was recorded. What? Three months later. I don't know. What you oh, want three to do? Months I don't know. Months later. You know how television works. Listen, okay, <laughs> you're right. All right. So listen, I, hmm. the line not coming out. The, 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 Let's talk about that. Because was that really like a thing when he had an Adidas the, the, line coming the, out? Of course. Okay. Of course it was. That's the name of it. Okay. She knew all of this. She divulged all of this information. I didn't get it from him or them. That's all, that's all it was. This, all right, so let's just play a quick game. Okay. This, this, this young lady is not from the East Coast. I don't know where the hell she from. He know, he, listen, he going to see this and know, mm. bruh. I'm sorry. Y'all can. <laughs> he going to see this and know, bruh. He going to know. Maul, don't I tell you. All the time, it's always pillow talking. Pillow yeah. talking kills sure. everybody. It always comes down it to the girl. Sure. Pillow oh. talking kills everybody. He Man. gonna see this. He gotta keep. The, he gonna listen. They're gonna look at him. He's he gotta keep that live face on, bro. He gonna have to keep. He ain't. He he's not gonna admit to it probably to them. He gotta keep that face on. They gonna know. He knows exactly who this is. He knows exactly what I'm talking about right now. He's going to. Hey, all right. Listen, I could listen. I couldn't live with myself without telling. I'm sorry. I couldn't live with myself without him knowing this and him having. I, I need him to. He, he has to live with this. Can we pause this uh, convo so I could just ask everybody where they stand on pillow talking? I like, don't speak in the bedroom at all. Well, you haven't had a girlfriend in thirty years, <laughs> so you, you have I to just, you have to feel close I to. Her. I might you tell you know. anything. I might tell you anything I want to say at the time. I'm not gonna talk about the homies. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about the homies in bed. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not laughs> to me that's the weird part. Oh, like, so oh, yeah, I'm not no, talking no, about the oh, homies. No, 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 no. Come on, no, you know that's mean? crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. like I don't. Yeah, how, yeah, did, yeah. how did they get to that? I love talking about the homies with my girl. Man, you can't. That's the best person to talk to. about your homies. Fuck no, hell no. No, bro. She gotta no. be an actual girl. Well, too, it wouldn't though. be. Damn, she gotta is be this a wife. Me again? Okay. It's just you. It's just you. It's, it's definitely just you. Just you. Rory has definitely spoken to Sam about it. What the fuck are you talking about? about? Y'all? I hate when he does about that. About like y'all personal business? Fuck no. Yeah, no, see, that's like shit listen, that the world can see. Yeah, we'll laugh at y'all we together. Don't, we don't need to argue about that because that's not really what I meant. What I meant was in in war. Yes, sir. In war. It comes yes, sir. Down to the women. Where do y'all stand on? Like, where would y'all fall if if that were? You. What do you mean? If one of your if one of your enemies got some great information from a girl that I gave her, damn, that sounds fast. He would have to. He, you know what he would have to do? He would have to. He would. Forty's gonna have to look at Drake the way Drake looked at LeBron and say, "Did I let you down?" And then Drake's gonna have to, you know, say. You're my brother. I wouldn't. Like, did you make well, that well, meme? Well, no, we, we have oh, to, did you make that meme? I saw a meme <laughs> no, no, floating around. That. No, I'm saying like Steven. it's gonna have to happen like that, bro. It's gonna have to happen like that. Steven, you got some meme makers over Hell there. No. Good music, but that's but it's gonna have it, to happen like that. Do you? Do you guys think it was something a little funny with that part, right? Come on. His voice was a little we, funny. We, when Bro, we talked about that, I, come when on. we watched it that night, we, we talked No, about you that. had the joke of the night, though, because I went. I I can't stop looking at that part now. When, oh, when, when Drake snatched his phone so quick from LeBron? Oh, yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> he looked oh, yeah, at the baby funny. for four seconds, and LeBron funny. snatched the, I mean, Drake snatched the phone. I was like, damn, my nigga. <laughs> Drake, what was in that phone? What you <laughs> think? That was, what no, you that mean? was really, really funny. Yeah. He snatched that phone quick. But um, anyway. Well, no, I have a quick question. Why do you think that woman was comfortable divulging that info to y'all? Um, it wasn't that she was divulging it. She divulges to 40. Yeah. yeah. She's having sex with Telling her nigga. They talk five hours a day. No, no, no. I'm that telling is, my that is, no, no, no. Why, why did it come no. to us? Yo, man. Fucking why, why did it, why did it come Why did it come to push? Not from 40. She's the middleman here. Why did it come? Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean I, I wouldn't think that she would like him. I don't think that she cares for him. God I damn. wouldn't believe that. <laughs> Yo, somebody got a beat because I feel like he got yeah, a record right. that he want to start right now. I wouldn't think that. I mean, I'm serious. <laughs> so you think that was just like this a joint? Shit? Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, you know, she didn't know. She didn't know that what she was doing. Right. In all fairness, right. She wasn't trying to kill nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She but wasn't. Listen, she how wasn't. the fuck do you figure that? She no, handed no, no, no. the fucking no, no, one no, no, gun no, no, to no, the no, killer. No, 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 but I understand no, no. what he's saying but, but, though. Before, no, no, no. yeah, the war popped off. Yeah, like she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't doing that. Got it. It's the hitman in you. I mean, hey, man. This nigga had some shit in that little hitman bag. <laughs> <laughs> nah. See, but that's my point, Push. When real niggas could tell that you was, you had the itch. See how you did that little thing real quick? Like, real niggas could tell that there's, there's just an itch as it pertains to this one concentrated area. Bro, it's By not somebody a- who keeps saying, fam, I'm cool. And we from the same place. So when you're in the street, you know when, it, when a nigga it's like, yo, it's cool. And you just seem to keep moving forward. <laughs> yeah. I'm look, trying to look at this in fight boxing terms. And you are know, a nice guy. I don't know why you're saying this, though. Like, I feel like we, you know, we've crossed that. You know, by the time we got to there, we crossed lines. We got did, it. you know, and that's got just it. what it was. Got it. But, I want to I get back to, again. Well, what Kanye's line do you think he crossed? In this? Which one? Go ahead, Rory. Yeah, uh, what, Rory. What line do you think he crossed? I mean, <laughs> ah, if you pull that wife line out one more time, what do you mean? That he mentioned my wife, I gotta commit, kill a whole crew. It's always kill a whole crew. It's never not kill the whole crew, bro. Like what? What? Like I don't understand. Joe. See, that's where I like it. <laughs> Joe, See, but that's you, what I said. Stop. Stop. Joe of all but, people, like shit, you bro. gotta but, stop though. But like that's what, what do I you s- mean? Like there's no there's there's a governor on the bar. Like no, no there's, there's no governor on the bars, <laughs> Joe. Governor. You just go. But that's what I was saying, Parks. I yeah. said, and I, I said, I wish this nigga would just stop saying. Yo, this was the line that did it. No, nigga, you just no, was, no, the, no, you no, was no, going. No, 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 you no, no, was without, going without the no, wife no, no, line. No, no. Is that you is were the going. story of Adonis coming out or how you pronounce it? I was listen. I was going to go. Period. Regardless, I was going to go. Period. But the fact that the fact the fact that you put that wife line in it is just like man. It just it just made it it just made it great. Like it just made it great for me mm-hmm. personally. It's the blackout and and. The fact that you thought that that line, first of all, I see what you lay with. I see what you create with. I see what you walk with. Oh, you're getting into your cerebral bag right now. So <laughs> I don't want you actually saying my wife's name. I don't. Somebody might misconstrue that with you actually knowing her or something like that. I'm not with that. We're not going to play with that. Which is the same confusion that's going on currently with Kanye. Which I ain't got nothing to do with nobody else's Neither wife. do I. Neither do I. Right. So... That alone is enough for me. Like, and you just, you know, again, you got to know who you're playing with. He, he is the biggest pop star in the game. Mm-hmm. That's, that Facts. leads me to my next question. Doesn't the biggest person in the war get to make the rules? How? Not, ma- not in rap. When did the best rapper decide the rules? Fucking well, let me unretire. Well, not in rap. <laughs> and what, <clears throat> rule, what rule is he making up? Uh, going too far. That it was, yeah, the it was in bad taste. Gets to dictate the narrative. You think so? I think the person that's willing to push it that far is the person that dictates that. <laughs> All right, you can tell me more. Well, I mean, don't, don't the fans make the narrative? But I guess the pop star would have more of the fans. I mean, there's no rules in right, in bro. Oh, I yeah, no rules to this. Bro. How I grew up, there wasn't. Yeah, there is a rule. Right, your rap. Rap changes all the time. <laughs> you got you. You got to do that too. Like that's that's a rule. Would you right? would you ghostwrite a diss for Kanye then? Yes. Tomorrow, Kanye's a producer to me, bro. He like okay. Dr. Dre to me. But Drake writes. He writes. He writes his music. Oh, okay. He might have help here and there. That's I right, mean, but well, get your fucking no, no, but no, but because no, but that's a, no, that's a narrative that I think people took out of context because a couple of lines here and there. But Drake, he writes for other people. So it's like, how can people say Drake doesn't write when he writes for other people? He he's written for other artists. He was he was writing for Kanye. Like I don't understand. So I understand what Push is saying. Like because in hip hop, once you know it comes I mean, out, and, and somebody and even you gave you a underst- line, it's like, oh, you don't write his own shit. Yeah, it's but like, no, see, but, Drake but I don't. And I don't. What's he writing for Kanye? Those melodic things that Kanye does. Like I'm not. I'm not talking about that. We're not discussing those. Them crooning. We're not discussing that. We're talking about bars. I don't I don't know that. I, I listen, I mean if you know it, bruh, 
then you know it. I mm-hmm. don't know it. But what is he writing for Ye? I don't know what he's written for Ye. Y'all got to tell me what he's written for Ye that was... I mean, and I'm not saying that he hasn't. I'm just saying, tell me what it was. Mm-hmm. Because if you're telling me that he's doing melodic, singing, whatever the case, like R&B writers do all the time, hey, bro, I'm with you. It happens. That's the game. That's what they do. <laughs> they. Right? I understand. So, I mean, you know, I, I'm not, you know... Like I said, if you know different, then... I still feel like Kanye plays a bigger part in all of this. Bruh, no. Listen, go go back to my big boy interview. Mm-hmm. I told y'all, I told him then, bruh, this shit about real estate. Soon as Drake get on that fucking podium, what do he say? 31st, January, June 1st, all everything surrounded around my dates. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. Ain't no Kanye. Ain't no Kanye drama. I mean, now the bromance that they have going back and forth where he, you know, where they cool and then he shoot him in a verse or some shit. That's weird, Push. Bro, I don't bro understand that's it. them. That's them. I can't be in the studio when Drake's there. I can't. I'm not allowed. Mm. When Listen, listen, when, listen. When they go to Wyoming, I'm there from the 1st to the 7th. All right, all right, uh, all right. I, I catch you. I'm gonna catch you. Da, da, da. Next thing I hear on the eighth, boom. <laughs> Drake here and he there for da, 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 these many days. I don't know this. I'm not allowed. Everybody else can be there. I can't. Cause I don't play neutral. I don't do that. You don't get to shoot my homeboys and so on and so forth. It's not happening. It's just I, not what I do. I, but I feel like Kanye should be taking that same stance. With but you. he don't do that. Like everybody not built like me, bruh. Everybody not built like me. Understand and you me. can't make people be built like you. That's a fact. You can't make people... You, you, you can't. That's a fact. And I don't charge... And this is the music industry. This ain't the streets. Right. So I don't, I don't carry people like that. Right. I don't. It's like, it is what it is. If, when I was growing up, if I wanted to go to the mall, if you couldn't fight, you couldn't come to the mall with me. We could come back home and play ball all day. Oh, you was that guy? Yes. I, I brought, <laughs> you can't come. If you can't come oh. to the mall, with, if, you, if you can't fight, you can't come to the mall with me. Because you're going to run, I'm going to get jumped, you're going to run, and I'm going to hate you forever. I don't want to hate you forever. Mm. I love you. You're great. It's got to tell you, this guy's a logical guy. Yeah. I'm no, gonna... I'm, no, Joe. I'm, yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Hey, yo, don't, don't play it at me. I'm not, I'm not in this. I media. wouldn't sit with nobody <laughs> no. else. But I don't know I why. Would, but I, because, <laughs> because everybody else going to be, it's dumb. Right. Everybody else is stupid to me, bro. Right. And that's how I really think about motherfuckers, man. Motherfuckers is dumb. They fall and when it comes to this rap shit, I like I need... I need penmen. I need motherfuckers who love this shit. I don't care right. who you like, bro. Right. Like, it's fine. I like. I, I probably like what you like. Right. You. That means nothing. You do not like. I'm sure I like what he <laughs> likes. I've seen him. I, I, I've, I've seen, seen him, <laughs> bro. Jamming, right? Man, I already know. I, I know. Yeah, bro. he be jamming. He be Come getting on, loose bro. to some shit. Come right. on, man. Like that ain't oh, what wait, it is. That nigga push research us. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's, it's not that, man. Bar you niggas down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of niggas uh, do research. Nah, but you know, I mean. I understand Bro, what you. I understand truth, what you're man. saying. This it's, whole shit is about truth. Like this, this whole, like and and just you know, the narrative is the narrative was wrong. The shit was just wrong. Shit was all wrong. But but the reason it's it's like the gift that keeps on giving because his ego's fucked up, not mine. His ego's fucked up, bro. Like why are we talking about this shit four months? Later? Why? Why? Yeah. You ain't heard me say one. Yo, bro. Well, because the shop came out. Li- and, right. You know, so that kind of. Well, that's what but listen, saying. but listen. That's what he's saying. He's who the fuck he is. Mm-hmm. That don't got to come out if he say don't put it out. But wait now. Kanye addressed him under the train station. Kanye's addressed him a few times in his little minute. And I think, I think a lot of this is going. Summer. What'd you say? Kanye been getting dissed all summer by him. That's, that's, that's true. Yeah, but do you so think you his got disdain it, so you got- is towards. Yay more than you though, because I, I feel like all on, it all on Scorpion. I don't care. All his interviews are just yay. I don't care. Where is that? I don't care. What is I'm this trying saying? to find some emotion I in this care. guy. <laughs> like Push. I don't know. Like I can't answer that question. But I don't like for me that mm. that shit don't work like that. I see red. All I see is red. Mm. I'm gonna let okay. th- I, I'm gonna see red. And everybody wait. else can see what they see. <laughs> everybody else can talk and finesse through their way way through it. I'm not doing that. Mm. 
Yeah, you got it I'm wrong. not talking about it's it. Everybody, Bruh, this shit was out. deep. This shit was deep for me. This shit was deep. <laughs> like this shit, this shit was a real fucking thing. This wasn't, this wasn't. Like, first of all, as much as you want to discount it, you did say my wife's name. I don't play that shit. I really don't, bruh. I don't. And it's fine. But I mean, on top of that, even listen, even the narrative of him and his research and all that shit. Bro, when I, I tweeted out, yo, I tweeted out a hundred grand ain't enough to mm-hmm. information. Yeah. For information. You're looking for that something. shit was real. That shit was real. That was not fake. Oh no. I I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh listen, I don't know if you do. I know. I don't I know. know if you do. No, I know. I don't know if you do. But like this shit war. is so real that yeah, like I know how this goes. The this shit is so real that like, you know, people who were close and near and dear to me are aiding and helping him do this shit. And I'm like, Damn. that shit is fucking that it is so whack to me, man. It's this woman, man. Back, this back woman, to the woman, she's worked on every album of mine. Always, every album. Always the back to the woman. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Listen, she's worked on every project I've ever had. Every project I've ever had. She worked on my Adidas campaigns. Everything. You know, just to give you the story of how, how this shit went. I'm on my way to fucking Wyoming. We're on our way to Wyoming listening to listen to the Ye album. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we in the car, get a call from an a, a old friend from L.A. Yo, somebody just hit me up talking about a hundred grand, you know, for information on you, so on and so forth. Um, you know, and, and the wild part about it is, you know, it, it's it's this woman, this this girl up there. Her name is Cap. You know Cap, don't you? Like, don't y'all rock with each other like that? And I'm like, nah, whatever. Hung up the phone. Knew damn well it was the truth, cause shouldn't nobody notice, man, mm. ever. Well, like in, in conjunction with me in 2018. Mm-hmm. 2001 and two, yes. Got it. Not now. Mm-hmm. Boom. Get over there, get to Wyoming, right? <laughs> get to fucking Wyoming. Listen, have the listening, whatever the case may be. Get back to my room, check my DMs. It's lit. Home, no, my homeboy from Virginia. Yo, you need to call me in the morning. He's not even my homeboy. We had a, matter of fact, give me the real story. Me and him had an issue. Rap crew, Virginia rap crew. Versus whatever the case may be, mm. we had an issue. Um, you know, speak to him the next morning. He's like, "Yo, they offering a hundred grand for information on you." Blah 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 blah. I'm gonna put you on the phone with my man because he was actually on the phone with him. Yo, it's this lady named Cap, such such. You know, so and so. I was like, "Whoa, like, bro, they really they go above and beyond." Which is why 100. percent Let me just. I do believe him when he says he went and made a diss track. That was full of some shit, and he doesn't. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say that uh, as if it's directed toward you. Again, it sounds like it sounds like he went and found some shit out about. Some well, he said in the shop yeah. it was for Push and Ye. Well, he should apologize. Well, listen, Ye. he should apologize to one of the uh, one of us and not me. <laughs> he's wrong for one. one he's wrong out. for one. One he's wrong for. The second one, it will wear it all. This guy will wear it. What's up? The other one, he wrong for that one. He dead fucking wrong. And that's what's crazy. When you say this guy a weird ass, meaning yourself, does that fall on push the man or does that fall on under your president uh, responsibility? No, not, no president responsibility. That's not, that don't have nothing to do with that. That just, that has to do with the back and forth. Like, I, I, like what I don't like that's part of the narrative I don't like either. I don't like these threatening, you know, oh, I made this record that was going to injure. No, you fucking didn't. You believe that. I don't believe that. No, I said I believe he had recorded a record. Not that it was career ending. I do believe he recorded something. Got I mean, it? Well, you know what? I, putting it like that is better. <laughs> like put it like that then. Putting it, putting it like, like that, that is we better. recorded something. We're rappers. Tools were open. We're rappers. We would record something. <laughs> that's we, what it, that's we record what it is. we record references. We yeah. ideas down. Say that. But all of that extra, because you wouldn't spare me. For what I for what I've done, you wouldn't spare me. Who's sparing me? For what? 
But I always felt like when that narrative came out that it was bogus. That it was like, oh, you know, it's gonna go too far. Careers can be ended. I never believed that. This is rap. Both of y'all solidified in y'all in y'all craft, on, man. and nobody's career over. was gonna be ended. But I, I always felt that that was bullshit. Listen, I didn't think nobody's career was gonna end over this, bro. He he spoke about like you, you know what it is. It's like man, imagine now my mind said I'm looking at the shop. I'm like, damn man, what if my mom is watching the shop right now, right? She may think that I, like I'm in danger mm. or some shit. Like now she knows her son, but she also is older. He could have left out that little one spicy line. Come on, that I'm won't let's mention not it. E- let's not even. I'm not. Let, let's not. But when I heard it, I was like, that didn't need to be there. We don't that says it. there's some anger there <laughs> still. Okay, because we don't. <laughs> this nigga wish we don't. <laughs> well, what, he, well, what he's saying is true. We no, don't. No, I, I, what, I agree. What, he, what he's saying is true. We don't. What he's saying. Like, what but he's but saying. but I'm but I'm saying like I'm just looking at it and I'm watching. I'm like, man, somebody may think that I'm in danger. Somebody may think that oh, you know, there is some crazy. He did this crazy research, in which he did. And let me tell you, even about that, that 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 research didn't didn't, didn't come back with nothing. As a matter of fact, they taped the conversations and gave them to me. Let me just play them. If you want. When all this stuff was happening. Because I, I got them. I said. <laughs> <laughs> but all this Wait extra on. fucking. Like, I don't like that joke. So I, you know what it is? I can't like. I don't. I just don't want niggas acting like they got one up on me or, or like. Or their money Yo, or their popularity. Runs me like. No, bro. Like this ain't about this. This shit is some rap shit. Yeah. Like it's some rap shit. Like yeah, this ain't it. popularity. This ain't money. This ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's what it is. Do you feel like guys who who don't write one hundred percent of their rhymes can participate in these types of events? Like when it's gloves. Two thousand two thousand eighteen. They can do whatever they want. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Sometimes you got to change the silhouette. Who said they didn't like Daytona because it was seven songs? Who had the issue? Probably me. Yeah. You, you definitely had the issue. Uh, <laughs> but why don't I'm you always, got a mic? I'm always on the side of what the artist it, it was, give it was, us. It was, it, was a good, it was a real good album, but I wanted. I felt like it could have been more. I feel you. you know what but I mean? like, what I was about to say was- Did you want it more than seven? I did. I did. I did. But what so I was in that say, case, yes, I'd have a problem with it being seven. Because oh. I know the artist wants to give me more music, and then the producer is saying no because I have this big scheme with all my other artists. Facts. That's where I would be upset. Right. Get him, Rory. What, no, 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 no. Listen. Very, listen, he's very right. And I've said it numerous times that I wanted more than seven songs. Mm. Sometimes you do have to change the silhouette, though, bro. Like, I feel like for what it is that we do, Joe, in 2018, as far as bar fest, rap fest, chop shit the fuck up, niggas, niggas is getting barred up. We're competing. I'm we're, trying we're, to shed me, that image. Let me. Let me, let me oh, no, 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 you, I, I'm gonna get into that. Look too, at his pants. I talk to you. I want to talk to you about yeah, that too. No, 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 Just like you trying to shed this. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Like with that, with that, with that in mind, you know, and what we're competing against in 2018, you know, the 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 fucking the everybody's ADD. Songs are a minute and fifty nine seconds of repetition, and we coming in barred the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, three verses that are like, bro. Rest in peace to three verses. You, rest in peace. <laughs> that shit don't happen no more. When's the last verses. time you heard a third verse? But I'm just saying, like, uh, it was just, a Joe Button album, right? <laughs> right. But, but it was a seventy two. You know, two twenty four. It was whatever, too much. However, yeah. you want to cut yeah. it down. Exactly. I'm not mad at the new structure no. of rap. Oh of rap no, 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 no! I'm not, I'm not mad for at real. Listen, listen, I'm not. I'm not, not no, I'm not mad at that because it's a lot of dope records. Like Travis, like when they go into a whole different beat in the record, I like shit like that. Oh no, no, that's not what we talk about. We like it too. Yeah, yeah. I like new structure songs. Yeah, sometimes, you know, and and I had to be open to that. You, I feel like you know, changing the silhouette, changing the silhouette of 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 uh, changing the silhouette in regard to my album, seven songs, twenty some minutes, you know, to compete and then competing with everything else that's going out there, twenty five songs of repetition. Yo, I mean, we we have to do something. Like, it has to be some level of you know, uh, how am I trying to say this? Sort of to 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 try to a middle ground. compete, yeah, middle ground middle with ground. with you know what I'm saying with competing stay, with what's going on. Not like to, not to use the word relevant, but stay with the times, right? More or less, right? And doing what you do, yeah. 
like yeah. doing what it is that I do because that's the, one thing the I space, don't do. The space what I don't for do. the gentleman that he's referring to is seemingly shrinking the by middle the class. second. The middle class is... It's, this ain't even the middle class. The people that is into bars. Right. It's just, how how right. is that as, a, as an executive of a label dealing with Niggas wanting with to do bars yourself musically and liking music bars, yeah. music bars, but having to get shit that's going to sell in 2018? Bro, I mean, I, listen, I, for me, it doesn't matter. I made Daytona. True. Mm. Like the games we play, I play that every day. Every nine times a day, that's what I want. I just want to hear the shit. I you know I want to hear that shit. Right. Like hope you're streaming it on Spotify. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> and, and you can stream it <laughs> right, right here on Daytona Spotify. Daytona on Spotify well. right now. <laughs> and also, you well. Speak, speaking of, before we get into this, I have a read. Dun, 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 dun. But, um, you know what? You was throwing shots at the way I was reading that one day, trying to figure your reading was a little shaky, bro. Uh, every Tuesday at 10, 9 central, a new reality series called Hustle in Brooklyn is all new on BET. And if you respect the grind and reject that 9 to 5 life, then trust me, this show's for you. 9 of BK's finest go hard for their dreams while they negotiate plenty of relationship drama. Catch the new chapter of Hustle in Brooklyn, Tuesdays at 10, 9 central on BET. For extras and exclusives, don't forget to visit BET.com. Okay, back to Daytona. Yes. And the length of it. Yep. Well, who was saying what? Who had who had a question? No, I was just saying that I wasn't a fan of the seven song shit. I mean, well, I, I kind of want to talk about May and June 2018, period. Yep. Okay. One, because obviously you were the first one that set the standard. Right. And to me, everything felt super rushed afterwards. And you're the president. Right. So all those matter to you. Right. Do you feel it's mismanaged? Um, I feel like when you say rushed, um, you're right. You're very correct with that. Super rushed. Now, when it comes to when it comes to Daytona, Daytona wasn't rushed, wasn't as rushed, and I I don't put a lot of my faith in anybody over there in regard to my project. Like, I sit in on everything. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, versus be wrong, positioning everything be wrong if I leave. Timing. It's so, <laughs> timing everything. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it's, um, that's something that I'm going to be there for. Not everybody is there for that. Not everybody does that. Every a lot of people will, you know, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, think that um, they can just leave it. That you know, they they can just leave it in the hands of Yay and everybody else. And I feel like, uh, you know, Tiana had a big had a big issue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, I had a big issue with her. <laughs> I was with her. We'll get into that. We we should. I mean, well, before we, we got, talk the yeah. time and stuff, do you think the example there would be Nas's album? Um, it, to, to me, again, I wasn't there. Go ahead. It felt like he sent a bunch of acapellas. He didn't. And he was Ye there. just put some beats behind it. <laughs> he he it was didn't there. feel like a Nas album to me. He was he was there, bro. That's the thing. We was we was recording same time. Mm. We was recording same time. How bro. was it being in Wyoming? Um, and recording there. Right, like inspiration, like it's a rapper, like. Looking at I'm not, you know, I'm not really into the like inspiration. You can rap wherever. Idea. You can do your thing. Yeah, right? like Wyoming is actually really fucking good in regard to just being in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have nothing else to do right. but make music. But, then, but rap, mm -hmm. and it like y'all become the best of friends. Everybody's great. Like it's, <laughs> you know, it's like where'd you eat at? <laughs> um, uh, a uh, a barbecue <laughs> pit, a barbecue pit, like up the street, and you nasty. Okay. Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> like, it's, no, 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 no. It's not like it. Um, <laughs> like where's the closest roll up? Nigga looking for Virginia soul food and why? Why? No, <laughs> yeah, you like, find none of that. There's no corner store. <laughs> none of that. None of that, yo. None of that. But um, yeah, I, you know, Wyoming is um, we all we've always done this. It's Hawaii, dark mm. twisted. It's it's always. Yeah. In seclusion, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. always. So, 
Seems like all of you are, uh, seems like all of the good music acts are pretty distant nowadays. Oh. You, amongst that, each that, other? All that little fake camaraderie we got at the Cypher in 2011, that whenever that was, I don't remember. Well, I think the, I like the suits. I think the focus, I, I think the focus was more music then. I right. feel like right. I, th- I feel like the focus was more music, and with Ye being at the helm of it being about music, right. like Ye's everywhere now. Can it be about music still if he's elsewhere? Um, the cruel summer happened more, in twenty nineteen. More, yeah. If he, yeah, if he's, if listen, if he's dialed in, yeah. Why does everything live and die with him? His label. When it comes, so what? When it when it when it comes when it comes to his label, when it comes to it being his label, and when it comes to him producing, like he wants to, like this whole this whole five album thing, wasn't a five album thing. It didn't start like that. It was like, yo, push. I want to work on. I want to do your album. Well, I I did I did an album. I did an album. He basically a and would the album. That's how that's how it usually goes. I go collect beats. I put down verses. I go back to him. He be like, oh, I, I fuck with that. I don't fuck with that. Nah, nah, nah. I came back. I'm like, listen, I think I got my album. I need a couple more, whatever, whatever, whatever. He listened to it. We rocked out for a whole day. Drove around. Cool. Next day, he calls me. He says, yo, I think I can do your album better. Like, just me, personally. Like, I don't want to use such and such piece or whoever. I mean, when you hear let's that. go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let, let's go do it. Um, I was, of course, I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like I'm ready. Come on now, like. But at the same time, it's like, and a lot of shit was going on with him too. He was like, "Man, you know, want to sort of look at this shit, sort of like therapy." And him getting back into the music shit, I was like, "That's this. This is where this is where me and you click at." Yo, me and Push have so many different similarities. <laughs> This is fucking banana. Listen, man. You gotta ask I'm here sign. for a reason, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, with that, with that being the case, as we found my album, we didn't even find my album. We, you know, we're out there. He got six thousand records, like six thousand records. He going through samples after sample after sample. I'm there. The shit's expensive as fuck. As fuck. I ain't getting. I, it's not mine. He Push, find. He pushes, finds. Pushes Royce. He he finds Tiana's. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's my man. And, though. And, and that's that's what that's where my beef is. Mm-hmm. And I beef? guess that's where the other good music acts. That's where their beef is too. Pushes Royce, and what I mean by that is Royce is next to M. Right. Royce can probably have some conversations with M that other people can't. Right. So when I'm listening to Push Talk, and I know I know Kanye is well documented as being a huge Push fan, but as a before Push ever got there, but listening to Push, it sounds like him and Ye's relationship is in a, just in a different space than some of the other acts. And for me, as a as an act, I mean, well, I've been through it. I would feel a way about it. <laughs> As an artist, how can you not? I felt the way about it when I watched you do that little interview uh, uh, talking about Tiana when you was like, she might have demo edits. I was like, the fucking nerve of push. What do you, what do you mean, though? She does. What's wrong with that? We all have demo itis. It's a very common thing. You don't have demo itis? He does. You got to. Yeah. You're fucking artist. It's a little different, though. It's a little different. My demo itis. Pre shady interscope, the record would end up sounding pretty close to the demo because you're creating it to sound like however you want to create it. You're not creating it to hand it to someone, right? <laughs> right. So and you're that, also, but you also got to sit in when you hand too. You can't hand and turn away. I don't, I don't hand. Is everybody? Well, that's, and that's that's my I question. Yeah, I don't, that's, I don't, I don't, I don't, you that's gotta, my question. You gotta be that's, a. That's, that's what you saying. The that is my question. Yeah, that's what you that, saying. That's the my question. Be fair. Yeah. But that's what I'm asking you, Push. Yeah. Are you the only person afforded that luxury because of your oh, relationship with Kanye no. West? No. You can be there if you want to take that type of time with your. What? Of course you can. I don't believe you. Listen, he works off energy. He works off energy. He works off energy anyway. 
That's all. Listen, if, if there is no energy, you ain't get nothing anyway. He only works off energy. All of this would affect me if I'm an artist sign. Listen, here. man, that's just how it's just how it goes. And I ain't even gonna hold you. Like the 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 biggest the biggest thing with me working with him is beating him. Like as soon as he gives me a beat, I'm on top of that shit just so I can get it done. At least get he needs to hear something. Mm-hmm. It ain't even it. Listen, it ain't going nowhere just off of him. It's off of you and him. Right. It's not going anywhere. And trust me, I'm from, I'm from the Neptune school of Pharrell is such a, I mean, you know, put your verses in, K-ass. Right. <laughs> put your right. verses in, K-ass, man. Yeah. Right. Like, that's it. Him right. and Chad, I put fuck, your verses in, K-ass. Right, yeah. Fuck out right. of here. Fuck, fuck out of <laughs> here. That's what you would say. Virginia, K-ass. Yeah, right. But you, that's, that's your process, and y'all are great at that. Do you think Tiana's process was catered to? <sighs> um, yeah, at what point is it your job to fucking cater to the, the act? I to, thought that's to, what yeah. all labels no, had no, no, to do. No, no, no. I feel like... I feel like um, what what I was what I was gonna say before I mean in, in mm. getting into that we were we weren't even going we were going out there for my my album we get to you know getting into that I'm out there for a long time we found Tiana's album first listen she didn't it won't no she didn't have one we just in in creation and in finding in finding records you know going through samples before we knew it it was five records and he was like yo this Tiana whole album Call her, tell her, we got it, boom. Let's find some people to do whatever, boom, boom. Knock it out, da, 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 get it done. Where did her marketing budget go? I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, where did it go? I mean... I, I, just as another act on the label, these right? are the questions I would have. When I listen to your album, I can that energy that you speak of, I right? can hear it. Right. Yeah. And on your last album, like... Yeah, that's present on Push Albums. You're right, that energy that you speak of. With some other people, I would have a whole lot of fucking questions just about my situation. I would audit you niggas. I mean... You can't send me to Wyoming, fly these fucking nets, fly Yes Jewels out, and think that I'm about to do some numbers as an artist that needs to build their base. And as a Tiana fan, I was home waiting. I've been waiting for years. I was disappointed. I was. Wow, really? I was she, extremely. Extremely. I love, extremely. Good, though. I I was love her album. Like, I'm, no, I'm listening good. to I'm like, no. Really no, no, we, we like it. But all right, it's here's, to Rory's point. Here's the difference. If you know the okay. album that the artist was going to deliver, and I know Tiana. Like, okay. And I knew that, all right, she ain't going to keep this in for too long. We're going to hear <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to hear something about she why this tell album sounds like that. Because she was doing the... She was doing the uh, she was promoing records via Insta Live and shit like that. Right. And push when I tell you them shit sounded retarded. Mm-hmm. So you calling it demo itis? That's where I take offense. That shit sounded ridiculous. The version that came after, I think the consensus would be nah, nah. Some of them shits we was hearing on the I do Instagram. Know, I do know. <laughs> I do know that Tiana had a couple sample issues, if I'm not mistaken. And well, when I, can I tell. say that. I could tell. She had, yeah, she I had a tell. few samples. And listen, that's something else that comes along with the game, with working with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think Gonna Love Me is her you. cranes in the sky if it's oh, not two minutes God. long. If it's not two minutes long, that's her cranes in the sky. Gonna Love Me is incredible. It's a beautiful song. Right. Mm-hmm. Why is Big Sean ducking all the smoke? I got to ask you all the questions that you good music niggas duck. What do you mean? Why is he duck? I don't even know who, Sean. Sean. He ain't said Candyman name. <laughs> He ain't said. <laughs> I mean, am I off here? No, no. the nigga, I mean, listen, the nigga, the told Sean to say Candyman. That nigga out with Janae. I think we need man. a new Sean album and a new Janae album, and these niggas out pillow talking somewhere. <laughs> no, I think man. one of you niggas have to answer for some of this. Stuff. No, man. What do you mean? Like, I feel like I feel like Sean. Listen, you know I he ain't like, said Candyman. What are you talking about? I also think he's staying away because of everything that's going on with Kanye. My like for you niggas over there to be so, cause y'all are, y'all got bar niggas over there. Right. Sean is a bar nigga. For sure. Sai is a bar nigga. For sure. Like, where's all the bar nigga tactics? Bro. Where's me? 
Listen, man. Mo, don't talk to me about Cy. <laughs> I haven't said anything. <laughs> don't talk to me about it. Okay. Because come on. What are you talking about? He can rap. This is unacceptable, he, push. He, unacceptable in what? Fashion? Everything. I'm now just all over the place. Go, I'm listening. Go ahead. He's talking about how What's, Kendrick has been daring him to say his name and, you know, possibly throwing some little subs here and there. They've subbed back and forth. They've subbed Man, back and forth. Man, they don't knock it off. No interviews. He subbed Kendrick. For you niggas to be oh, so shit, great with shot. these bars, and I do believe that Big Sean and Cy are both great with the bars. Right. Why niggas be scared of the smoke? Get out of the street, nigga. I don't know, man. I mean, listen, I'm first of all, I'm not going to say either one of them is scared of the smoke. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to just say that I don't know what their I don't know what their uh what their buttons are. Yeah, he no pun. Get, he, pun. He, 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 no, <laughs> no pun. No pun. No, no it. pun. I don't know. I that guy's slick. No pun. That guy's good, man. That's why he's the president. He no, subbed you on your own I shit. Know, I don't know. Like I can't I can't tell you this. I do you know, I know of I do know of the issue. I didn't even know of the issue. You know, there's that, no that, issue. Yeah, I'm was, like that you. Was, yeah, that was, there, that there was. is no issue. Right. There's but, no issue with anybody. Shit, I think Tiana would get bucked before anybody else over there. Outside of this gentleman, obviously. Well, I already know Tiana get bucked. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. Don't no. nobody need to tell me nothing Listen, about that. Shooter. She's crazy. <laughs> Tiana might be your first call. Because all of y'all were signed at different times. Right. So contracts differ. And I'm probably in a space where I'm pretty unfamiliar with what's going on. Currently, with major labels, do different contracts have different song minimums? I mean, song requirements. Um, usually they're pretty standard. And when you say song requirements, you mean as in for the, on the album? Usually yeah. ten songs. Yeah. Back in the day, it usually was 10. you yeah. were only paid for ten songs. We don't give a fuck what you do right. over that. I don't know what that number is still, now. No, that probably still that probably still is the case. But with all of the other that number methods, has to be different on, on the streaming. I would on the streaming. Yeah. The fact yeah. that people that are with the streaming songs that, on that with the streaming and and I I I feel like they're a bit lenient. I I mean I could I could ask I could ask my manager. They would have also, to be because also you, the executive. Actually, Stephen, maybe that's the question that I should have. I should have for you because I just genuinely want to know the answer. Do different artists have different? It's called controlled composition clause. Um, Everyone's different, is what Stephen said. But no, no, no. He's talking about songs. We know contracts are different. No, I understand no. exactly what the fuck that smart nigga just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the de- the devil is always in the details, baby. Fuck. I understand exactly what he just said. Okay, that answers a lot. I'm leaving that now. <laughs> Listen. You know, I had the corny question before, right? When I was thinking of, well, what am I asking Push about this fucking Push and Drake shit? Because I'm I'm over it. I don't know why Drake was on it. And I said, damn, I could ask that corny question of, where is, is there an avenue for reconciliation? But the further I thought about it, I only, the selfish fan of me, I only want reconciliation when there's a duet that I want to hear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I wanted Drake and Meek to make amends because I want to hear Drake and Meek songs. I have no desire to hear a Drake and push a record. I'll be honest with you. Facts. <laughs> so if you niggas never piece it up, I'm cool. That's fine. I, mean, I just don't really <laughs> understand. But I mean, I guess I don't have to. Listen. No, uh, I would want to hear Drake yeah, and I would, push I would mind hearing Why yeah. the fuck would you no, want to hear mind. Drake and push a well, record, on, Ilk? On, on, only, only because I, would, I, I didn't think that I would want to hear, before I heard it, I wouldn't jump out to hear a Drake and Ross record. I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump. Yeah, I'm not together, mad at that. And they, they have great records together. Lord knows is probably one of my favorite records ever. So I'm not. I don't know if Drake and Push can make a record like that, but I would uh, want to hear it. Hear Drake crooning on some of that fucking hard. Nah, it wasn't. Talk. Nah, it wasn't nah, crooning on Lord. Lord. I'm sure it wasn't crooning on Lord knows. Fan, he would rap oh, I, on it. I yeah, thinking, I was thinking Aston Martin. Nah, it Paris wasn't crooning on Lord knows. So I, I, I know I he was. That, he was that, stealing that, out of a young lady's purse. And Lord knows. Ain't <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm from that era. You are not. <laughs> you are not. From, you're fun. not going to shame Angel he's, Dust he's, and he's big up so and big up <laughs> going so in a chick's crazy. purse. I'm from that. I'm era. from that. Yeah, era. I know. That's the wild crazy. era. I was from the wild era. It's cool. Who knew Bush did such a great Mason impersonation? 
Yo, oh, man. yo, that's <laughs> like, yeah. It's a little weird, man. I thought that was amazing. Did you like the record, though, Why'd man? Why'd you do that? Because. Because <laughs> Mace is one of the greats. I know, but I thought that was a Mace. I thought it was a feature. Yo. It was creepy. Yeah. It was creepy. It, it threw me too off. spot yeah. on. Yeah. Listen, why, wanted, why can you do such a great Mace impersonation? I wanted it to be a single. I really did. Mm. Like, you know, I feel like um, I, I don't make singles. Like, I don't, I don't make shit like that, really. And I felt like that was one... Time where like it was some, it was some quirky shit, but it was some, it was cool enough. I felt cool doing it. I didn't care. It was amazing. It was me paying homage at the same time. I thought it came out dope, and people didn't fuck with it. That shit pissed me off. I think most people, well, at least they myself, missed, people missed it. Yeah, I, don't think, mad. I thought people it was. So mad. I don't people think Push gives himself enough credit, yeah. man. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What do you mean? As far this as thing what? is crazy. As far as what? <laughs> Why you say that? Listen, as the guy that's been tagged as the one-hit wonder, Push has made big records. That's true. That's true. <laughs> he has yeah, been that's, on that's a little and crazy a part like of no. a bunch of huge no, records. No, 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 and no, a really no, big You're one of the few bar niggas that can get on stage and do a set with them fucking mainstream raps. No. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you yeah. did Made in America. I came on this podcast and I said, yo, I forgot that Push could really do a whole set of hit records. And when I t- wait, 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 Roy, hold up, Roy. Those, and when I no, take it, it further, hits. and when I take it further than the that, don't move. The what sound of the jingle. He did the most popular good jingle. No, 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 no. I think they're good. No, I think I do good records. I'm saying that they're not, like when you say singles, singles. You know, that's charting. That's that's making. You don't play food. the game. Well, I mean, you don't play that game. He doesn't seek out to play the game. If it works, it works. Right? Yeah, if it works, yeah. it works. Okay. That's a fact. Right. But you know what's funny? The minimal. But I want to sing. The minimalist. The <laughs> I do. We all do push. I do. Like real shit. I mean, you, I want people to know that. Like I, I do want mm-hmm. shit like that. But you're not gonna force it. Oh no 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 no! You can't right. do that. Right. right. Yeah. Why, a lot like of people Mr. do. Like Mr. Me Too but, didn't feel like a force. It felt like a, a clip single. Yeah, that like was a hit. Mr. Me Too or grinding things, of, things of an unorthodox nature that actually work. That's what I. I mean. You know, can that's you, what I would like to Can have. you tell me why, and I want to I wanna attack this, because this is a common theme I'm saying now. Can you tell me why rap niggas even get involved in a game knowing what it's driven by when we're not willing to participate, really? Man. I mean, because they see the perks. They see the perks, and they think that, and, and every, rap, every rap nigga think he's that good, that it's going to just, you know, he's going to jump over the moon. Mm-hmm. Knowing what you really? know now, would you have gotten into music? For sure. For sure. Music affords me, has afforded me so much shit, and it's taking care of so many fucking people that I'm around. Hell yeah. That, that, that alone is enough for do you me. Have, do you have children? No. Do you want children? Yes. Um, near future? Well, you're married. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, assuming, yeah, we'll that, I'm assuming you have those Yeah, talks. Very, very soon. If your child... I ask you this, right, because recently, and I don't know how this has been coming up with me, but, you know, my kid is into music. Okay. Um, for me, that's the same as my kid coming to me saying he's into football. You hate it. <laughs> like. I'd hate it. And I have that, that, that conflict inside of me that says, are you allowed to feel like that? Like, music has afforded you so much. <laughs> I know. How could you feel like that? Oh, because you know the like the if you, you know the lowest lows of it. No. If if you was in your kid right now, you would tell you, my nigga, suck my dick. <laughs> yeah. If somebody came and it, and to it, me and at and seventeen, and it's, and it's whack because if you were a doctor and your kid wanted to be a doctor, you'd be like, oh, I'll go ahead. Something mm-hmm. else that was, you know, anything else successful, like you know, anything else successful, you'd be like, go do it, go do it, go do it. Mm-hmm. How you know? I feel you though. I wouldn't tell my kid go be in music. I, I I'd be like. I would definitely support them, but reluctantly, and I would go in my room and like beat on the bed or some shit, be pissed. I would, but I wouldn't do it in front of them because I know what that's like too. I mean, yeah. I grew up at a time where music. What, what right. the hell you mean you doing? Get the fuck right. Like that attitude was ringing off in my home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Period. Like I wouldn't do that, but yeah, man, I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm. Not, yeah. I. I can't say. It, they, they would have to show me a certain amount of drive, a right. certain amount of just 
dedication. They would have to show me so much. I would be cool if my kid was like wanted to be a musician. Like if they told me they just writing raps, I'd be like. But if they want to pick up an instrument, and they really want to that's get to whack, that side bro. of music. That's yeah, what still, if they're that's nice still whack. Fam. That's still yeah, whack for us. That's still, still whack for us. Yeah. Like we, whack. we're whack for that. We no, are whack no, for that. No, it's still whack. I agree. But, yeah, but, we're whack. But, I'm but agreeing. if your kid is just coming to you with lyrics, it's like. And if they trash, it's like, all right, my kid might well, not make it. I mean, you know. It. But if he picking up a guitar, he picking up, he playing piano, trash. drums, it's like, yeah, exactly. You can have a long career doing. He, he can turn his trash around, yeah. bro. Yeah. I've been mean, trash. But if you look at I've the percentages, yeah. to your doctor point, the amount of people that go into med school and become doctors is way higher than the people that make a mixtape and become successful at rap. There's not a high percentage of success rates with rappers. I feel you, man. But we listen. We made it, and you can't shoot people down. That's a fact. That's a fact. You can't shoot nobody. You oh, so you can, no, I'm you just thinking from a father's perspective, being no, worried about their future. But you can't do that either. Like, yeah. you know, Especially, you're right. Now, now, let me tell you something. I'm not going to tell my kid to play football. I'm not with that. I'm, I can't do that. I can't. Mm-hmm. I, like, I don't. I feel like the damage is like, that's some shit we're going to find out. We're, we're finding out about it now. But yeah. I feel like, yeah. you know, some, some shit going to unveil itself real mm-hmm. soon. Do you or, use ear ponds? Yes. Yo, you know, I just found out those are $150 and I thought they came with the new phone. They don't. I ask, <laughs> I ask you that because in, in regards to football, you say there's damage that we won't know is being done until much later on, right? Oh, man. Don't tell so me. So I was getting a haircut. Don't do this. I was getting a haircut and the barber turned on the little tiny electric shaver thing that's wireless. And at the same time, I wanted to microwave my coffee. <laughs> so I got up, I put my coffee in the microwave. He put the shit on. I was also playing music on the Bluetooth. And as soon as the microwave cut on, everything stopped. And I was amazed by it. And I was like, I kept doing it. And I kept getting the same exact result. And the barber was saying, and this was Jose. Shout out to Jose. And the barber was saying, uh, yeah, there's studies on all of these different waves and exactly what they do. He said, which is why I'm surprised so many people are wearing the ear pods because we have studies that show that certain waves do cause cancer and do cause other, you know, they cause some shit. And here we are with our human stupid asses putting this technology in our ears and we won't know the effects that it's going to have until much, much, much later on, yet we willingly do it as a, as a people. I mean, Bluetooth ear They've been saying that about cell phones. For a while. Since they Bluetooth came out. have been around for a while. That's interesting coming from the two niggas that smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Mo, I'm and, gonna die. And, we all are. And there, I'm gonna die first. <laughs> I'm gonna die first. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the you Chris Rock joke? A crackhead will be like, "Yo, you know, red meat will kill you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My friends don't even see all the subtle changes I make to prepare for the afterlife, and right in front of their eyes. Oh, oh, like I'm serious when I say you're not invited. <laughs> 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 You're not invited to my funeral, Mo. All, right. All right. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Now, <laughs> I hate to get morbid. Oh, should I play outstanding? No, not yet. Back to push. Push. Yo. So, and this is a broad, this is a fairly simple question, but I'd like to know the answer. How did you even end up with this title at President of Good Music? Um, I, o- I always like, this fucking rapping ass nigga can't have a title. Nah, um, l- listen, it was simple as... um. Simple as just you know a lot of our a lot of our conversations and sessions. I mean, a lot of our sessions start with conversations. Um, it always starts with what's hot, who's hot. You know, that's what our whole shit is about. Okay, bring that in, and then you know, let him hear that. You know, and then he starts competing with these mm. things. Um. That's just what we do. Like that's just what it is, and I and I feel like my rapport with everybody at Good, on top of my opinion, there's always like you know, I I'm not anti, but I I always play devil's advocate. I feel like you know he he felt that um I would bring a sense you know a a, a bit more order to the situation. Okay. Mm. Okay. And a, and a respect, like you know, we got a mutual. Like I'm cool. With, I'm actually cool with all of them. Like everybody at good. Is there any truth to? 
and we broke this down a lot here. I'm back to the Drake shit. Hate to be the messy guy, but I am. Okay. Is there any truth to the entire June good music rollout plan being based around Drake's rollout plan? Well, that would have to. That's a that's a real yay issue. I didn't know that. Like I wasn't in. I wasn't even privy. Oh yeah, because you're not there. I'm not there. You're not present. So I didn't. I didn't know Nothing, when he yeah. was dropping. I didn't know none of that. I got a call saying. You know, you didn't uh, know when Drake was dropping. No, yeah, I didn't know. He said it though. He said June 2018. He never said. Well, this yeah, was yeah, this yeah. was he well said, before. He just said June. He always yeah. said June. He said June. I didn't. I didn't know when he was dropping, but I didn't know. I didn't. I also didn't know that Ye was going to be like, yo, you know, put these around. That's a definite Ye thing, mm -hmm. and that's why I said this issue is about real estate. But if that happened that way, yes, let's act like it did. It means nothing. You don't own fucking June. <laughs> the Valid. fuck, man? Valid. Niggas can't fucking own months out here. <laughs> the fuck that mean? Why is, um. like, yo. <laughs> like, that was, that was so dumb. That was so dumb to me. I'm like, the fuck? I, listen, you I was on Def Jam. I'm from, wrong. Monk, I'm that's from wrong. the Monks of the Man that's shit. Wrong. Nah, he's wrong. Let's the, argue listen. about it. No, no, no. no wait, that's wrong. wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. No, no, no. It's not about owning the month. Wait, wait. Where's my cage? Yo, you're bugging. No, it's not about owning the month. Come but, on, puss. But, but he did say he was coming in June. Well, and listen, then he I didn't figures, know. No, I'm not sure. I'm just saying. <laughs> didn't he announce that before that shit, though? No, but I'm going to tell you why he could feel a way, though. Because if he says he's coming in June. And he's in the studio working, crooning with... Kanye, yeah. come on, puss. And then he leaves, and then all of a sudden, every artist on Good well, Music has hey, an album. Man, in the you know that's y'all bromance. That, listen, the bromance <laughs> works both ways. They both be fake, be fake friends with each other all day. In my opinion, in my eyes, that's how I look at it. Like it well, was interesting well, on the shop when he said well, he said that on the shop when he said forty called him and said, "Yo, dog, it's, it's funny he, over here." Yeah, because yeah, it always some, be funny. But then the next, it's always <laughs> funny. <laughs> It's always funny. It's always funny. Y'all playing. I wouldn't win over That's there. That's what happens when you play. Okay. They play. I see, I see what you're saying now. I get it. I get what you're saying. Right, they let me, play. Let me pause on that. I see what you're saying. Those, now I get it. That's one of those powerful lines that he tried to yeah, just they throw play. out there. Let me <laughs> nah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they really do. Like, that's not... But Drake kind of... He kind of implied that, and that's where... You're right, Push. Fans are really, really stupid. Because when Drake said he got the phone call... From his right hand man that said, "Hey, it's funny over here." <laughs> yeah, like something that he's working. The on very out. next sentence said, <laughs> "I went anyway. I showed him a picture of my kid. <laughs> I told him all this shit. I had a conversation with him. I confided in him. Told him the troubles I was having with the mom." You just don't do that, that if your man told too. you that it was funny already. That like, shit pissed me off, too. At one point, do all of the rappers take some accountability? All of, It's all of y'all. Bro. I mean, not... Listen. <laughs> he said y'all. Like I don't he's have nothing to do... Listen, nah, I have I nothing don't. to do with months <laughs> in real estate and time when people drop. Let's fight about that. Because I want to cape, <laughs> cape for Drake in okay, that moment. Go ahead. Fam. He owns the month. No. No, 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 <laughs> the no. Fuck. No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay, do you believe in do you believe in uh do you believe in uh Oh yes, good question. Do you believe there's a such thing as gentleman's etiquette? For sure. When, when yeah, when people when people are genuine friends, of course there is. You so you don't believe that that I etiquette don't believe exists outside it. of that. I, no. Come on. What do you mean? No, oh. no, 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 no. Yes, outside of that, of course. Man yes. code. Yeah. He, he yes, does, yes, yes, yes. Push is saying he push is saying he doesn't believe Drake and Kanye are as cool and as close as they would like for people to think. Maul, that time out. That's push a fact. Push has stated on this podcast multiple times that there is some weird bromance energy that exists between these two gentlemen, Drake and Kanye, that is unexplainable when, when for I us. When I say bromance, I'm being sarcastic of course, because of course. I don't believe of course. it. Of course. Right, I get it. And I that's it. just the way that You say I that, but it does exist. It. Whatever exists between them two yeah. does exist. So it does. I guess what Drake is saying, and I just hurt people hurt people. So I'm looking at the shop and I'm seeing Drake be hurt. And I watched Kanye under the train tracks, so I know that there's <laughs> some hurt there. Most beef is embroiled in hurt. <laughs> yeah. So we still don't know the original hurt. So, 
Pooch don't give a fuck about <laughs> with <laughs> original Pooch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm done trying to find red, no the source what. of it because yeah. Push is a, he's a killer. It's like me trying to find compassion in a killer. That's my favorite right. part. Like I'm I'm all for that, but something does exist between them two. That's yeah. a fact. Well, obviously. So if he confides in the man, the if, and I do believe that's a mistake on Drake's part. I'm, you should not confide in the person that has this weird synergy with you and disses you every chance he gets. For sure. I said that on his podcast. Yeah. But he did. So no, he doesn't own the month of June push. You're right. <laughs> but he did confide in a friend, or not a friend, he confided in someone he was working with under maybe false pretenses right. that he was, he was dropping was a at a certain time. Yeah. Right. He got some information from Kanye to make him believe Kanye wasn't coming no time soon. Because right. as an artist, you know a nigga wouldn't go out there and work on your album if you're coming when I'm coming. Come yeah, on, yeah, Push. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest, Joe. Like I'm not Victor, I'm not man. faking though. Like I, I don't know what they'll do. He seems so I don't know like, what they'll do. These two niggas Bro. is good, man. <laughs> bro, listen, you got people people are dissing me on beats, they produce, blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, I don't know how this shit works with them. I'm talking All real. you know is he does not own the month of June. He don't. <laughs> and I, like, he doesn't. You can't sandwich his fucking release. Yo. Y'all sandwich the what release. Does it matter? He, he had to go change months of planning. But why? Why? Because Kanye's a megastar too. So now the, the other megastar that I've been secretly competing with my entire career there just took go. information. That's the problem. Just That's took information that I gave him. If you're secretly competing with anybody, you shouldn't be divulging information. You shouldn't be playing nice when you're really not nice. Stop playing. I feel like you and Drake would be great friends. <laughs> like if they could just get past this stuff. Bro, I'm past <laughs> like, it. You are not. I'm just telling you the truth. No, no, no. Listen. Well, you are. I, I really you am. You was never on it. Yeah. I, listen, I really am. And your and brain, I'm really you just was replying. The fucking truth. That's it. Yeah, but the truth hurts. That's right. Let's get back on the truth because I'm sitting here. The with truth this, does hurt. I'm sitting here with exclu this exclusive in my computer. Yeah, it's a lot of running truths. in circles right now. A lot of truths in the computer. But let me just say, man, and and we were saying this uh, when we weren't recording, but push is inspirational to me on a on a few different fronts, right? Like I say all the time, how I got to watch rappers that are forty and up to see how they're doing 40 and up. Because as somebody approaching 40 and up, I want to know how I should be doing this thing here. And hip-hop ain't been alive but for so long, so you want to kind of model yourself after people. So Push being the president of good music, boy, did I always hate that a little bit because I burnt all my relationships throughout my career. You couldn't be the president, like, bro? God damn. Ah, fuck. Nobody likes me. Nobody will throw me a bone. Good thing this podcast yeah. worked out. Jeezy's wow. A&R, Atlantic. Yes. You couldn't catch nothing. Uh. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know if Jeezy want people to know all of that. No, he announced it. I don't think he is anymore. But at one point he, he didn't, was. Didn't announce when he stopped. <laughs> <laughs> they, they kept that one quiet. So, yeah, so you inspired me there on one front. And on the other side, I watched all the niggas that have beefed with Drake. And as being someone that has beefed with Drake, I, as much as I disagree with your approach, I must applaud. <laughs> it got the job done, man. Let me hit the applause. I mean, the only way you can't you hey, can't bar Drake, hey, you can't out hit Drake, you can't that out money Drake. You gotta go that got route. Quiet. That's it the got way. Quiet. That, yeah, hit that nigga push with a ooh, you lucky. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, you lucky. That's what I keep saying aside. That's why I sound pussy. That is exactly why I sound pussy because it's only but so many oh, you luckies you can get. Um. So so let's just. I'll speak to my experience. In my experience, push, move back so I can gaze at this nigga Rory. In my experience, like I spoke to earlier, my method of beefing with Drake failed. And I think it failed because, much like you, I was ready. <laughs> you just ready for shit that you shouldn't be ready for. So I did this. Yep, yeah, yeah, let's go. The narrative was able to change that way. Right. Joe struck first. Narrative is on Joe. Right? With you, though, you're much smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> so when you speak about some of the things that, it, that are being done in war that are hidden from fans, 
just tell me how how much of a deciding factor do you do you how how important do you feel it is for fans to know some of the behind the scenes things that happen in war in our industry because is that where the war is decided i mean behind the scenes yeah. when is it ever truly it's decided not the final by, decision by the ability well it, it's you know I, I feel like behind the scenes is what can make or break you yeah yeah. Behind the scenes is what can make or break you, and then what happens within that is what's presented to the public. Mm-hmm. Um, behind the scenes in this situation, like like I was saying earlier, um, I had tweeted out, <clears throat> "Yo, there's a um, hundred thousand dollars can't 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 dig up skeletons that don't exist." That was a real thing. Like um, you know, being on my way to Wyoming, on my way to Wyoming to listen to the Yay album. We get a call and basically a, a old friend of mine said, listen, somebody reached out to me. They got a hundred grand for information on you. Um, I knew it was true simply because the person, they should have never, they should have never known this Been person. Privy. Yeah. yeah, like this is from 2001 to, you know. Mm-hmm. Different should, time in your life. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's a good way to put that word. Different um, time in your life, and, and and at the same time, like it was, it was, it was, it was a shocker because, um, the person who was mediating it was this lady. It was a girl named Cap. This person who was mediating this hundred grand was somebody who worked on all of my projects. Like she worked on all of my projects. Worked on Adidas campaigns. I was at her baby shower. Mm. Um. Why you would ever do that to me? And 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 you know it. It's real deep. It's real deep with 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 me and her. Just in regard to like, you know, is it me, just a money thing that makes somebody do that? Is it? I don't. Solely I don't fiscal? think so. I don't think so. I okay. think it's heat. I think it's like. I think it's. I think it's wanting to be next to heat. Got it. Um. You know, she is an industry person. She is industry. Mm. So that you matters. know, and 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 that's what it is, and it it it, it threw me for a minute. Like I, I I literally I actually called her husband. I was like, listen, this is what I heard. I hate that I'm hearing this right now, but if it is true, you understand that I'm not playing with anybody, and I meant it. And that, that was a very gentleman like way to handle it. Yeah, of course. And 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 I told him. I said, listen, um, you know, I said, don't. You don't even have to tell her call me back because by but the more I talk the more I talked to him, the more I heard in his tone that it could have been some truth somewhere. He was giving it he was giving me that energy. Mm-hmm. Wasn't flat out denying it. Wasn't flat out denying it, was you know, excruciatingly like, Oh, I just can't be. Let me just get to the bottom. But I just felt because mm-hmm. that's this is something that should never have been said or done. Mm-hmm. Um with that being said, uh, I get on a plane. I go to Wyoming. When I get to Wyoming, after the after the listening party, my DMs hit. My man, um, Sean, he um, he's in my DMs. He's like, "Yo, we need to talk tomorrow. Um, make sure you hit me." Um, now, me and Sean, we're not even friends. Like, mm. you know, we were friends earlier in, in life, falling out behind some rap shit. Mm-hmm. I call him the next day. I'm like, yo, what's up? He's like, listen, niggas is out here offering a hundred grand for you, and in in regard to um, you know, in regard to this whole beef, and um, I'd have been insulted. You can offer more than that. You know, I mean, hey, man, I you know, by this time I was I was by this time I felt good though because I'm like, you're offering what you don't have. You're off. You you know, you're offering because you don't have. Mm-hmm. So now I feel like I'm holding the aces, I'm holding everything. And um and talking to him, he 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 puts his man on the phone, who another guy who I wasn't cool with, his name is Fetty. And um they was just like, yo, for real on some VA shit, like, man, there's no way we gonna even participate in something like this against you. And beyond that, it's this girl on the phone who keep talking like she your sister, but she steady trying to get info to kill you. <laughs> Somehow I have, I want to cut you off. Go ahead. Somehow I have some of these clips and I'd like to play them. I don't want them to jeopardize the relationship between OVO Mall and Aubrey. 
So <laughs> me, me, and, me and Drake are good. Are man. you and him? Me and Drake are good. Text him first. That's good. Me, me and Drake are good, <laughs> man. Play whatever Brandon you is play. good. Everybody's Everyone, good. Everybody's are you going to be an OVO still? I'm after good. This? I'm good. Yes. I'm retired. I don't need the Drake feature anymore. No, I'm, I'm good, bro. But Rory likes Drake a lot. Is this okay with you? It's fine, Joe. You I think, I'm, I think I'll be okay. Y'all pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is interesting because we just, as fans, don't get to hear shit like this. I'm going to shut up. This how, look just how deep it gets, though. It's like, this is what nobody knows. This is what, like, you're really combating. When y'all talk about rules and you talk about going too far... This is something uh, you would. This is something you'd never hear about. Something you'd never hear about. I agree. Wait, I see what Push is doing here. Because Push like to draw focus to things that we should focus on, but not pinpoint that we should focus on them. Yeah. So I see what's happening here. Yeah. Yeah. Is this kind of your way of saying, nigga? What rules are you referring to? What rules? How how could there possibly be rules if you have six figures for dirty intel on me? Right. See, and that's always a different game. That's why I fuck with Pac. When when I didn't know shit about shit and Pac said, uh, to start a war, you got to get your money right. Right. <laughs> that's a fact. As a 16-year-old, I was like, is that true? Like, I got guns. <laughs> 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 He's right. Uh, so anybody shut up because we don't have the greatest uh, uh, sound quality here, but we're going to make this work so you can understand what, what goes on here. Aubrey Maul has nothing to do with this. Right now, some of the stuff that might be more that might get niggas in trouble, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's the sister. I think maybe that's left off the table because you know, we don't want to be dry and shit like that, you know what I mean? Whereas, whereas something like a baby, like you can't throw stones in a glass house, you know what I mean? Like that is very relevant. Um, to to the whole situation. So I don't know. You want to call? You want to call me back with the DJ? You want? What you want? That was autoplay. Something. Uh, I don't care. I'm I'm still just stuck on what was being said. I don't care now, about the song that came on. Now, now, be clear. Like, like I said, that's 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 a woman who I'm at your baby shower with my wife. I'm I'm inviting you to my wedding and you would even attempt to dig up dirt to I mean to the tune of and, and what was what was what was good dirt to you was me having like a secret baby. And this is who I call my sister. Like wholeheartedly. Well, you know, as as niggas, we call people our sister sometimes. It ain't really our sister. <laughs> well, nah, I think it speaks to nah, but it ain't that. Though. It, it ain't even. It ain't even that. The morals of how people grew up, because the dudes that was hitting you, you said you probably not even that that fly with. No, one hundred percent. And they that's were real just nigga ra- shit. They was just raised a certain Listen. way, so hit you. Well, let me hit the round of applause for these niggas, man. Yeah. Oh shit! Wait, no, I can't. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what's up with that? What are you playing? What are you playing? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. What's still I'm, day twenty six? I'm, I'm, I'm not a real DJ. <laughs> go, go to iTunes. What? Well, I'm trying to, Mo. Talk, why don't you talk so I can get out of here? No, I want you to play the. Play the uh, is it? Was it something else? Yeah, this more? No, I got way more. Y'all just shut up. I'm trying to learn how to work this computer, man. All right, here we go. Here's yeah, we'll the next one. And we uh, we had a lot of back and forth. Between each other. But um, I got his DJ, actually. I can know the guy personally, but I got his DJ, man, that did all his tours with him and, and the whole nine. And he got so much shit to say to you, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, but it's like, but it's sensitive and it's real. And it's, you know what I mean? It's, what? It's unfiltered. So it's like, we all in the town. It might it, it'd probably be some issues behind it, but that ain't, that ain't a big deal, but. It's it's nigga, now, now, pause. <laughs> nigga, st- what? <laughs> Listen, you know, and again, this is uh, this is who actually gave me the tapes. This, 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 this is who actually gave me the tapes. Like, um, you know, he, he was, he was offended. Like, not, not to say too much about the guys, of but course, please. They, 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 they get to a bag. They really get to it. He was sort of offended how 
they were coming to him on some yo, you know, we'll fly you up. Like, like, like they were. Like that was impressive. That works on the girl, <laughs> right? We gonna send the PJ. Like, yeah. We gonna send the yeah. PJ, and and they were talking this. Oh, we gonna send the PJ talking. You know, we got the money. Blah blah blah. I blah. hate PJ too. I don't want to hear that one no more. Yeah, I hate nigga say PJ. <laughs> yeah, unless, yeah, the PJ, unless you actually own it. Yeah, no, but yeah, I'm about to different. stop. Everybody stop. Yo, the, the PJ game is over, my nigga. <laughs> you niggas don't own the PJs. <laughs> Y'all are fucking renting the fucking PJs or doing deals with the companies that own it. I don't want to hear none of this pajama that, private jet. Their shit. actual <laughs> their actual words were like, "We don't know what the fuck Jet Smarter is." Right. That's what they said to me. Cause that's all. That's all it is. People don't. That's that. that's exactly what they said to me. They was like, "Yo, he was he was like talking to us, like you know." And they hated their accents. Pusher. I'm just being honest. Don't be honest. I'm just telling you. <laughs> now go ahead. I'm trying to. Just, <laughs> shut up. Man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, a few of these niggas wanted that hundred grand. <laughs> Facts. For sure. Hey, Facts. Facts. Like, and, and let, me, let, me, no, let me tell you, let me tell you. A few of these niggas like, hey, what you looking for, man? <laughs> let me tell you who cause who you're listening to, that is my former DJ. My my the clips former DJ. Mm, and okay. and and we don't rock with each other. Got it. We don't rock with each other. Um, but of course, you know, that didn't. Well, that is the person you want to call for the right for the shit. Right. But how but, to drink and all these but, but, but when it's but when it's no dirt, it don't matter. It ain't no dirt. I to, I told people that from the door though. I said, listen, there's absolutely nothing about me that I can't wear out here. Nothing. Nothing. Woman, wife, whatever. Nothing. We're going to wear everything. What What's I up? Will, what I will say, and I'll say this uh, with my MC hat on that I don't want to wear anymore, is not very many MCs that can say that. And I, again, right. I don't say that because you're sitting here. We live a very public lifestyle. Yes, we do. So our dirt is normally done in public as well. So I understand where they're coming from trying to get the dirt. Yeah. And I mean, I, I I won't judge him for it because I guess you're supposed to try to get the dirt. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not judging him either. I'm just saying when it comes to rules and playing, and, it can't and, be rules. It when can't you be. This way. is this this how far we going? This how this how far we going? And we're and we're we're uh, you know, we're using people who are you know close, like totally close to me, like fully, like work for me, work for me. They don't work. She don't work for them. She don't get no money with them. Would well, you think to, he only did this knowledge. as a response? She don't get no money with them. Too far in his opinion. She needed Christmas gifts. She don't get no money with them. Out of here. <laughs> Out of here. No, I'm, I want to laugh. You ask a question. Nah, man. <laughs> no, she play said, the next one. She needed Christmas gifts. Wait, what's wrong with needing Christmas? There's gifts? nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying you ain't getting no money with them if you need it. You can stop that. that. You 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 could you let, let's stop that real quick. As you you heard him. I did. did There's number gunplay after this. That's what it's he mall. said. I need That's enough mall. money to move my family because after this, it ain't nothing but gunplay after this. I'm not. I, I'm not. Uh, the OVO witness protection? N- no, no, no. I, I, what, I, what I'm saying is. <laughs> what I'm saying is. Rory, I'm not. Uh, would you shut the fuck up? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to condone that. That was. That was. That is what he Stand felt behind. about what would. What was going to come if you know after he. Exposed, divulged, whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Right. I'm not. Of, I'm not he put condoning of, that. He put a lot right. of faith. No, he put a lot okay. of faith in that album. Be clear. <laughs> <laughs> that's but that's how. He, that's how. That's how he felt. Mm. So when you when you speak of when you hear people speak of information and and their research and 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 um just the fact that these people aren't my friends and I have these tapes, bro. Let that tell you something. Let that tell you something about you know. 
the the other super wild narrative that I'm not going to speak about about all the all the physical all the physicals and stuff like that. I'm not going to get into that. Mm. Don't need to. But be clear. Let's just be clear. No, oh, clarity is here. Let's be clear. It's here too, Mo. Yeah. I don't listen. Ice, my mom, Ice, do you have Mildred, some clarity. Mildred, <laughs> hey Parks. Mildred, your son is always I'm safe. Clear. Mildred. Rory. Don't you know, it's, it's, it's funny you say that, Push, because yeah. my mom now reads the internet. Of course. What, what do you, <laughs> Joe, Yo, what do you and think? And every other week I say to my mom, Mom, every week I tell you not to listen to the internet. These niggas is front. Are you kidding me? You think she's, she's never listening to you, ever. Yeah. She, she sees everything. That's why, th- this is what bothers me. And they worry. When you say things like that, of course. She may believe, she may have believed that. Yeah, coming from somebody that holds his own mother's opinion in such a high regard. I, I mean, when you really start to look at some of the details of this beef, I do understand. I, oh, there's a lot of psychology in this beef. Facts. It is. That's a fact. It is. Unfortunately, I don't know if the listening and viewing public cares about any of it. They only ever care about the bloodshed. Yeah. Right. They want, they want to see yeah, it. It's entertainment. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which is why, you know what, Push, I'll be honest, and I've been ending this interview for 40 minutes, but... I wasn't mad. This is a great. This is a great interview. <laughs> it's not an interview. It's, conversation. it's not an interview. It's a conversation. But he this said is, it. So I just follow him. Conversation. Yeah. Yo, every time we land on one of these conversations, I don't get it. I'm like, wow, this is craziness. <laughs> um, but as somebody that understands it, I'm trying to remember how everybody felt felt here. I understood him with the J Prince shit. Like I understood that call of J Prince said that it, so I'm deading it. Was you was it you that was mad at that? Somebody here was mad at that. Well, I I, I probably felt the way only because I felt like it was it's, it's rap. Like I'm just talking about I, the way I was raised on hip hop. If you got an issue with somebody, y'all taking out on records. I mean, cool. Sometimes shit can go a little crazy, but I never felt like this in this situation. I didn't feel like it was gonna go anywhere other than music. Well, you what should, you? you should feel offended now, though. You should feel offended Tell me. because if you understood, if you understood it then with the Jay Prince thing of of him, you know, chilling it out or whatever the case may be, and 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 I even believe Jay Prince says something about uh, uh, you don't get in the pig pen with somebody like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only for you to Put off sit with the hogs, yeah, Get and watch, dirty. yeah. Only for you to sit here and watch him on the shop and all the you know physical talk. If you believe it, you if should. You, if, yeah, if I that understand. was the case, you should be offended now. Mm. Because now it was really a hoax. It was all a hoax. So on all good music releases from this day forward, we should hear nothing of this energy directed that way. That's a fact. I'm like I'm working, I'm 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 finishing up my new album now. Like I'm I'm we are I'm off this shit, man. You finishing up your new album now, huh? Because yeah. uh-huh. early I wanted to ask you, you was talking about keeping up in this climate. So you're upping the frequency in which you deliver. Yeah. So you change the method, but not the product. Right. Is this one going to be a complete Kanye produced one or back to your old strategy of just grabbing I'm, beats I'm everywhere? I'm about to see because I was supposed to be with him right now and we're not. So I'm just going to see how this plays out in the next couple of days. It's a lot going on right now. Well, let me see. <laughs> do I want to hang out with Push? <laughs> or do I want to tell the president of Uganda that it's on, like Jurassic man. Park? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, good president, nigga. <laughs> you got it. I mean, where do you be sitting when you read this stuff? You got to have a reaction. And that is my beef with Sahai. What's that? Sahai cannot have that album and be cool with Kanye Wait. telling the prince of Uganda that we're going to make this shit the new Jurassic Park. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Push. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. That's, that's enough for me. Bruh. Hey, that's enough for me, my nigga. I don't press yeah. niggas here. I'm not Chance. into sensationalism. That is enough for me. <laughs> Chance gave the same laugh. <laughs> I'm yeah, listening. like I, yeah, it's a lot of y'all yeah. got, you and Chance got a lot of the same. Energy, <laughs> I just don't have listen. Yeah, I just I I don't have I don't have a comment for it, man. I really listen. I wasn't even familiar with that bar. Like that, that's new to me. <laughs> Yo, good music, Yo. man. <laughs> I gotta get over there to Wyoming. <laughs> see what the fuck is. Nah, they so, in Uganda now. They so off you, Wyoming. So you, your new project, right? 
Yeah. Let me tell you, I think that's interesting because of the frequency in which you're planning to deliver now, right. which is different than, you than know. Than anything I've ever <laughs> yeah. done. Y'all know yeah, I'm a... Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Why? Why the change in approach? Is it strictly because of what's going on? Yeah, the climate. Do you feel like you have to do that yeah. to keep up, kind Yeah, yeah, for sure. You don't feel... Go ahead. I, I mean, I feel like you got to do it to, to keep... I feel like I what I feel like I'm really good at what I do. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I don't I don't know if there are a lot of people that are good at luxury drug raps. That's a fact. That's a fact. I don't feel Very like true. a lot of Big people. Big facts. Are. Yeah. Um, but being silent, people, you know, they can they can being silent, they can sort of scoot you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you, you can watch the game sort of try to dis, dismiss you and discredit and like, oh, well, that's just that. Mm-hmm. Right. And I feel like the more you come out, the more the more you come out, the more they have to compete with it. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and they differentiate it. between this that and, and that. Mm-hmm. And as long as, as long as people keep differentiating, you're there. And right. I just feel like it gives me one up because it's like, Man, I don't know too many people that can do this. Do you think you would have came back if you would have done more than seven the first time? Do you think that had an effect? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, I was only going to do ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. I won't, I won't it was going to be shortish. Yeah, wasn't gonna be uh, can we hear the other three? I like ten, though. <laughs> I like ten, too. Where, where are the other I three? I thought ten was a good <laughs> number. I have plenty. <laughs> I remember when Kanye came out with that announcement and said, yo, I'm only doing ten from now on. And he caught a lot of uh, flack for that comment, but I thought that that was a great happy medium after I stepped back and got my emotions out of it. 10 to 13. 10 is a good number. 10 to 13 40, is perfect 40, for 45 to 50 minutes I'm is not even good, mad you know, if I don't get 13 no more because niggas was giving us 10 with the two one-minute interludes right, and right. the clip. Like, right, I know right, what time right. it is. Right, and right. a couple yeah. a couple <laughs> super B-sides like that you could tell they just threw on there to... Push, push yeah. out. I'll be honest. Yep. And I don't know because I'm, I'm, dis, I'm disconnected with whatever's happening currently, but... If I start talking to some of these, some of these, somebody who has answers, because I'm hearing rumors. One rumor was that four songs counts as an album to streaming services. Looking at Steven Victor. <laughs> it's the so, time. So Daytona was a double disc. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Kanye has a deal with Trump? No. In place? I, I don't think so. Do you think you would know if he did? No, I wouldn't know. Well, they have they have a relationship because didn't Kanye put uh, the young lady in the I video said, years I ago? I didn't say a relationship. Who, 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 I said a deal. It? Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I, mean, <laughs> I, didn't, I, I said a deal. A no, 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 yeah. not deal. They, I mean, they have a relationship, though. No. Before okay. the presidency, they, they, they've had a relationship. Oh, shit. Let me take this time to say uh, I got a call the other day about my 2017 taxes. Oh, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> I've seen and, that tweet today. I, I feel you. Just chill. Just you know, you just got it. It's it's okay. I was sick. No, nah, you cried. <laughs> you cried. You died. You shed a tear. One, a glory, the glory one, the one. Does it, it go just all the way down one. to the chin? Yeah, I feel like people, I know how it goes. people with money are responsible for letting people without money know how bad having money is. But when you don't have money, like it's bad. That was craziness, fam. If only, if only Biggie made a song. <laughs> They took it all, <laughs> like off the right. rip from right. two years ago. You right? Yeah, they gonna get there. I got there. maybe twenty two dollars in my account. That's right. <laughs> wow. That's gotta okay. write everything off. It's tough That's out right. there. I don't own shit. <laughs> get you about. <laughs> get, get you about Stephen Victor. Get you about God damn it! My mama didn't teach me this, the rules. Joe, you gotta get. You gotta get about Start six LLCs. I don't own Start shit. Start enjoying the money. Hmm. Enjoy it. You got you got to spend it. That's the biggest trick in America. You I didn't, I didn't yeah. know. Oh yeah, you think you just gonna hoard? Yeah, yes, you can't hold it. Hoard. That write off is so they get their no. shit back. So that's why. <laughs> I, let me let me give Kanye the flowers while I can yeah. still smell them. Oh, boy, I hung up with them tax people, and I identified with Kanye. <laughs> I said, hold, hold up now, if this nigga searching for a tax break somewhere, God damn it, where is the mega? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, shit. Listen, man, that shit was tough. Yo, let's put All an right. edit point right there. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna wear the hat, but god damn it, man, I was, I was. Uh, it's tough out there. Anyway, 
Let's get back to you. So this new album got to come soon. It got to come soon. Within this year? No, I probably won't make it. Early year. next year, try. though. Yeah. We're going to try. We're going to try. But For this year? Yeah. Okay. But probably early next year. How did you feel? You know, I stared at your num- your first week numbers for a long time because mm-hmm. I thought it was a misprint. <laughs> really? 100%. 85% of your fan base went out and got it. I was sort of happy with that. First of all, no, I a want stat. a round of applause there because <laughs> people really don't even know that that's a stat. What's that? Hell yeah. 85% that's of cool. his bought, that's it's, crazy. It's purchases, not streams. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. that's tangible. They went and got it. <laughs> you could touch right. that. So for me, again, you got to study niggas. As somebody who couldn't understand why my sales went from like 35, 40 grand down to 15, 20 in the streaming era, mm-hmm. for his fans to get it and never lose a beat, <laughs> like to still go get it when they're making it more harder and harder for you to go get it, yeah. I still haven't seen numbers to reflect that. And I'm looking. <laughs> right. I haven't seen it yet. How how did you feel? Did did that did that strike you at all? Was that a testament for you, or you just are aware of your base because niggas are aware of their base? Yeah, but you're not I, aware of the climate, like in the no, streaming just, era. Like, I, I mean, I I was I was pretty. Us was rapper pretty, niggas are super impressed. Yeah, I, I was. <laughs> no, listen, I was pretty. I, I was I was I was happy with the numbers personally, and but but at the same time, like I do know who I'm talking to. Like every like, and that's important. And and and, and it's only. And I don't deviate from that. Right. So like, I know they're waiting. I I either know they're waiting. I know they're I know they're satisfied when they get it, except for Ice. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> Ice. Ice is <laughs> trash. Man. Yeah. Like Ice is trash. You know, but um, I don't know, man. I I never put too much emphasis on this. It. Like, yo, put it out there. You know, get that hype going and go on the road, bro. That's it. Like, I don't. I've Sweet. never looked at it. Any Do you other. live on the road? How many days out of year? Damn. Really? Wait, bro. What? Wow. I'm never home. Wait, excuse me? Oh, bro, I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Down that's for a second man. here. That's where it's at. That's that bro. Stephen Victor bro. effect right there. <laughs> Dan Green wasn't getting me those bookings. I keep telling people, <laughs> bro. The road like, is going always. I'm the in, road. Yeah. The road oh, no. is where you build it at. Man. And, that's, yeah. and that's, that's Asia. That's everywhere. Oh, that's, no that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's a fact. Push, I don't think people really know this stuff about you, man. Well, because it's global, so. I'm working. I, I work for mine. I hmm. definitely work for mine. Hmm. I knew that when I was going to the Delta Gate and it was just me. <laughs> and then Push was landing, going the other way, and it was like mad big bodyguards with him. <laughs> and I was like, well, damn, he's a rapper, rapper like me. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, where the hell is he going? It's so important. You, you was going to you was going to Charlotte. Wait, wait, wait! It was just us. 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 Wait, you know what's funny? It was just us. And then he came and he dapped me. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> now you come over here with these big ass things. Now I really feel like a loser. <laughs> then I walk away and Ian hits me. Hey, did you see pushing those big ass guards? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, but I said to myself when I saw that, I said. Like that's not shocking to me. That's not that's not shocking to me. But I think people have you pigeonholed a certain way. <laughs> like what? I think people have you in this box because of your content. I guess when I say, when I say things like push is super cerebral, when I say things like push is a nice guy, when I say things like push is logical, when I say things like push is very well connected. I don't think those things are resonating with the audience. Is that by design? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they really look past the music, and I think everything else is. They sort don't of look under, period push, but I if don't you think, don't I show think it else to them, under the radar, like unless you know, like you know, unless you know, it's like yeah, it's, your press runs and appearances haven't been like wild. Yeah, You've always just put out music. Yeah, it's. I don't know how they would know. Where do you rank yourself all time? Where do I rank myself? Do you oh, rank man. yourself? I I so don't rank myself, Joe. This nigga, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, what the, I don't. What like, the I just, fuck? I don't. I just like. I mean, I have like. 
I don't think Push likes rap. <laughs> it, don't, <laughs> it don't sound like he it, just, right? He's just he's good at it, but I don't think he likes. Uh, I mean, I, I, what was the last album you listened to? Uh, Lil Baby album, and Lil Baby and Gunna. Uh, yeah. Hold up, Rory. I'm very glad that you said that. Okay. Another rumor that I heard. Okay. You hear a lot of rumors. Word. It's my job. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> it's my job to search for facts to match theories. So I heard another rumor push president yep. of good music that says this. That says there's a world where Kanye got word of QC wanting to do the four uh, album each week drop way before this Drake thing. And that that's where the idea derived from. And that Drake coming with his date just made him push that idea up to June. It's a rumor that I paid zero mind to at all push until this month. Yeah. When Lil Baby and Gunna dropped. Uh huh. And then Quavo dropped. And then Yachty's dropping. And I would guess that there's going to be a surprise album dropping after that. Would you totally disregard that rumor? Uh, no, but I've never heard it. I, I, I don't. Well, you're not I, I invited to Wyoming on certain days, right? <laughs> exactly. So I, I don't know. Like I really don't. Do you feel like these guys are elusive? No, oh, come on, I'm not. I'm answering whatever you ask. Word. I no. Oh, yeah. You are no. You're being super straightforward. I yeah. guess what I'm saying, but in that is. As the president of the label, it just shouldn't be certain things that you're barred from. Like, you should be in a position to be answerable to very many things. And it seems like you're hindered from doing that to the best of your ability. Mm. Well, yeah, if, I, if I'm kept out of things, if there are things that I don't know, for sure. That, I would agree with that. Do you... Do you? Oh, my bad. Roy, go ahead. Is there someone in place in good that is that? Like, the way Hove is special because Hove is an artist, but he's a business mind. 50... Same way, Kanye is an artist. Yep, like straight up. I, do I don't think there's him a to be full... a businessman as well. It's a, it's yes, a... but not in the way Hove, Fifty, Ross, and them are. I it's won't a, say it's that. A yeah, collective... I think he's more of an erratic I like, artist. I feel like it's an a, it's a it's it's Kanye's vision, his artistry, and there's a collective of individuals who like bring structure to it, bring structure to it, and and see it through, and within that. I would say that I speak to everything logical, everything logistics, everything. Um, this is probably what we should do, maybe to mm. compete with this or this or that. Mm. You know, maybe we could try to get, you know, I mean, just in regard to the artist. I get like, it. that's how that goes. Do you think it's funny at all? Back to my question earlier. <laughs> Yep. About uh, Ye and Trump, and I don't have many Ye questions. Uh, yeah, I've erased him from my brain completely. I didn't want to bring attention to that. But part of life, because <laughs> he wants us to talk. I about never it. heard another word about all of the debt after all these Trump shenanigans. Um, um is right, nigga. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um is fucking right. No, 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 no. I've no. never. Like, for someone to freely go on all of these Twitter rants about this enormous debt that can only be eradicated a certain way. I'm, and I'm only going to speak to that because he's made it public in regard to his, uh, the worth of Yeezy. There isn't debt. At all. But he did say there was debt. Before, not now. Yeah, for that's, sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, but not due to Trump. <laughs> I don't think it's due to Trump, bro. <laughs> like I think he just has a. He's, this whole shit is a big Yeezy commercial to me. I was. Oh, you ain't got to say. I was hoping we wasn't going to touch this whole shit. shit. Is a big Yeezy commercial. The Saturday to me. Night Live shit. How did you feel about all of that? Um, well, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. Were you there? Democrat. Were you no. backstage abusing him? No. <laughs> you weren't bullying him with that. Are you aware of people bullying him backstage? He told me that. 
<laughs> Who was I want to know which comedian that. from Saturday you, Night Live was bullying him? Questions. Don't do that. Get on the mic and let's talk. You was, answer me shit. I'm, I'm answering you the best of my ability. All right, nigga. Tell was, me what you Pete said Davidson back. Was Pete Davidson putting touch on him? The fuck you said back then? <laughs> was Yo, Colin Pete, Joyce Pete making you. him uncomfortable? Push. You'll never believe it. You'll never believe what happened. Like what Michael what, Jackson? Well, yeah, well, no, 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 no. Real shit. You know. We disagree. We 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 disagree on this wholeheartedly. Me See, that's him. all I have a need. No, no, no. Listen, we disagree on this wholeheartedly. And when it came to that, I actually called him after that. And um, you know, I just asked him. I was like, you know, you have your political views. I got mine. You know mine. Like, he'll whole you're from thing. a commonwealth. Yeah, so I already know so your, your you views know, is different. He knows yeah. mine. Back and forth, we've had this. What I asked him just uh, simply after SNL was like, yo, what are you trying to accomplish? And he was like, you know, what do you mean? I'm like, you know, to me, you've had, you've worn the hat, you've said your stance, you've done that a little while ago. In this past little, let's say month or so, after the music came out, during this whole, you know, the... You know the the, the, the run, yeah. The, the yeah. music run and all of that. Um, went to Chicago. I said, man, I sort of feel like people were not even agreeing with you, but lending you an ear. And I said, if that's the case, why are we going back to causing an uprising? Great I, question. Like, and I feel, and I feel like, and I was like, and I feel like, you know. If whatever you're trying to get accomplished, because we disagree and you think your way is going to be the way, mm-hmm. if that's what you feel like, why not just get it done without the uprising? Meaning mm. the hat, the hat. Yeah. And his answer was, "It's freedom of speech." He he would be correct. True. He's he's correct in that. Do you think he's gearing up for like a political career? Because he certainly is campaigning. That feels like or, or do you think he's just he's using people's camp- pain to get more attention to him? Which is what he campaigning is, a is. Right. From um, what I've gathered. <laughs> yeah. See, that's where it becomes that's tough. It feels because like. campaigning is done for so many different reasons. It's normalized in hip-hop. Like, we're, we're conditioned to believe that when it's our time to roll the album out, we got to campaign. We got to let people know how we on it for this run. Like, yeah, roll, roll in politics, that, yeah, there's campaign. The rollouts are so old school, like, that it's sort of wow to, like, I mean, I wouldn't want to put that. I understand. I wouldn't even want to feel like he was thinking like that. I mean. But rollouts are old school in, in politics. For sure. I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think he wants to be a politician. Okay, I don't think so. But I mean, I do feel like, um, you know, I mean, just in listening, to, in listening to his views and things he wants to change and so on and so forth. I don't necessarily think anybody has an issue with things he wants to change. I think they hate the way he's going about it. I agree. Question: If Kanye, I just think they're a little misguided. If he, if he helps President Trump with a re-election, like he campaigns for him, will that be something that you could still see yourself having a relationship with Kanye after that, or would that be something that would kind of like, all right, I can't really stand next to this dude? No, I definitely, I definitely can have a relationship with Ye because we have different political views. Hell yeah, I don't think he's, I don't. Bro, we we've been disagreeing with each other since we met. Mm-hmm. That's why I feel like I'm the president because I actually do disagree. Mm-hmm. Mm. Really, like on everything. It's healthy. It's smart. Really, but I mean, you know, I feel like it's a back and forth, and I, and I can also I can also see when we disagree, him taking shit from maybe something that I said, or you know, I I can see where that. He takes heed to it, right? Yeah. Where, you know, in some capacity, maybe mm-hmm. not the whole way. Yeah, yeah. You, mm-hmm. you just, but you can see the influence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Nah, nah. His political views. His political views are not. Um, it's not. That's not going to be an end all, be all with us. No. See, for me, it's not just the political views. I think it's the person. Like Trump is. 
the, the type of man that he is. I just can't. If my homeboy was trying to support someone like that, even if it wasn't the president, just somebody in normal, regular day life, I just, I can't, I can't fuck with you because you know what that dude stands for. It's like if a dude snitch, and then you see your man in the club popping bottles with him and all that, it's like, whoa, this nigga's a hot boy. What you doing? I can't fuck with you because I don't know what y'all got going on. And you know how I give it up. So it's like for the president to be this racist, sexist guy that he is, that we know that he is, when your homeboy is standing next to him, now he's the president. Cool. We understand that. But now if you try to help him get reelected back into office. I, but I, I sort of feel like, you know, we, we know who he is. We know exactly who he is. Mm-hmm. You know, and we... We look at him and say, you know, we know what you're really about. It's 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 still him not having the clan hood on, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, still gives it that gray area. I, I I said that the MAGA hat is the new clan hat to me. It is. That's how mm-hmm. I look at 100%. it. One hundred percent. But you know, you can't. I mean, that's my opinion. But you can't, if they not going to own it like it's that, then it's, it's, it's hard to say that it's, uh, it's hard to say. And some would argue that they are owning it. I was going to say, the clan, the clan is owning it like some, that. Some would argue <laughs> yeah. that. The supremacists but, 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 are but, owning it that way. What I'm saying is, what and, I'm and saying Trump is, is Trump not, ain't going to own that. Co-signing them in some degree. Public I mean, BS. yeah. So what I'm saying is, there's always going to be that lines. room for argument. There's <laughs> if you always, read the between the lines, he's, he's definitely. No, 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 no. We, we, we're I know reading, what you're saying. No. We're reading yeah. between the lines. We've already we've already done that. Right. But what I'm just saying, he was speaking to the fact that if you stand next where, to him. where there's where there's always like there's always a room room for gray area doubt people dismissing saying oh well it's not really that and these are just my views in regard to these certain things like with that gray area i feel like people people hide behind that people hide behind that gray area and um that's what makes it that's what makes this you just got to pick your side you just have to pick your side, stand on and it, stand and say, I don't agree with you. You've mentioned you've mentioned throughout this interview exactly how emotionless you are. And as someone who's also numb and desensitized and sociopathic in a lot of ways, I understand I it. I call that, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> However, at the start of this interview, you mentioned my encounter with Wu-Tang Clan. Yep. Boy, was that fucking a very teachable moment for me. Um, And in those teachable moments, you really start to observe. You start to look. And what I saw in that very teachable moment was some niggas was down to go shoot everybody's house up. Some niggas loved me enough to talk me off of a ledge. And some people wanted zero parts Mm -hmm. and wanted to maintain their relationship with Wu-Tang Clan. Yep. And I know as rappers, we're not allowed to feel things, especially as black men. Black men are not allowed to feel things, especially in high-stress situations. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest with you, Push. I felt a way. Um, I felt I felt a way about the people that were not willing to ride for me the of way course. that I was willing to ride for them. So as this interview progresses, I'm thinking about exactly all the different people on your side with those Drake affiliations. How do you feel about it? I just wasn't. It's all, everybody knows everything. No facts. See, because I want to deal with the parallels that I'm identifying between you and I. In the Wu Tang situation, you. everybody knew everything. I'm gonna tell you. I mean, yet you chose up. I'm. I'm. I. I. I just. In all honesty, man. And it just it just goes to like some home shit, like real 
father shit. Like, my dad will tell me to this day, every time he sees me, everybody's not built like you. Mm-hmm. You know that. You treat them accordingly. You don't got to, but you treat everybody accordingly. They're not built like you. As long as you know that, you good. Mm. When you stop knowing that is when, you know, that's, that, that, that's, that's when it's your fault. You'll tell me that. That's your fault. You know that. Because you knew. Mm. And, I mean, again... I learned a long time ago, you gotta, you can't have, I take, I try to take street principles, especially now, I take street principles out of music industry as much as possible. Yeah, you Mm. have to. I hate it. Like, I don't even want, like, let's not even, like, come (laughs) on, man. Like, I don't even, I don't even want to put those principles on people because if you ain't from it. You're not gonna understand it. And most people in the business are not from it. Are not from it. And it's that's and, the reality. And it's okay. Yeah. But sure. as you just like, you know, it, it's it's my fault when I begin to think that, yo, you know, this 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 and it's and and it's not it's not rough riders. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is not ride or die. Like this is not, you know. This isn't based off of those. The house ain't based off of those principles. They're yeah. not. It's not. Yeah, y'all, were, y'all were put together. You huh? didn't grow up together. Not even that. They no, he's talking that. about the brand of that, the brand though. of good and Kanye yeah. in general. Is it's just not from built a different. I'm speaking that, more of. Yo, these niggas say a lot and saying not a lot. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a skill. Yeah. But you know, it's not. It's not. Um, man, you can't. I can't be. Man. You know, I do wish at times I had, you know, I, I, I wish, you know what? He got on the shop and said, what was it? Uh, he sent him my my. That he's going to punch you in your face and you better not be at no festivals in here. Yeah, hear. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You were saying. But he was like, he was like, yo, he, um, he sent, I sent him a picture of my son. I wish he would have sent me that. Like, Push. as my man. For like, you know, for artwork and, you know what I'm saying? Just like, that's the type of ride I'm Oh, you was ready to go there. Bro, we was out here. We out here. <laughs> we are out here. Yo, st- yo, I see what's going. Steven Victor is just casually texting. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Steven no, Victor, man. you have to get some but order I, in no, this no, 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 no. But, but, but what I'm saying is Bush, Drake is not sending you a picture of my bed. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about I'm Sorry, talking about, man. I'm talking about he sent it to Yay. He's talking about sending it to Yay. He said, oh, remember he sent yeah, it to Ye, yeah. he, and he said on the thing. Ye shouldn't have got a fucking picture of my bed. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is if he, if he sent mm-hmm. it, if he sent him a picture, that's something that when you in war, Kanye during that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like that should have came in my, into my phone. Like, you, you know, if, if it's, you know, if it's, if it's us, like, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, yeah, I have this bit of information. Yeah. But yeah, but like. You just don't. You just don't put those. You don't put those principles and values on to people. You don't. You like can't. not in this shit. You can't. Not in yeah. this shit. Just to be clear, so you don't really wish death on anyone. No, man. I never did. <laughs> I just acknowledged an ailment. <laughs> yeah, I never felt like that was wishing death either. No, I didn't. I didn't. That was <laughs> listen. But that's what kills me. Like you know, they, like I said, they put the spotlight Push, on. No. That was some Joe no, shit. No, 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 no. That was some Joe shit. No, man. That was some Joe shit. No, no, no. That was some Joe shit. No, no, no. That was some Joe. No, Joe. I wasn't gonna sit down with anybody else. <laughs> no, but I don't know why. Ever. When Karen hit me, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> God damn it! Listen. Why the hell are they hitting me? <laughs> listen, anybody else? Well, and, and not talk like this. I know. Like, you know, I'm mean, we can talk. I understand. We can talk this is Is like, that right? What <laughs> yeah. he's saying? Come on, Maul. I mean, in, in battle rap, I don't think I don't think that anything is off the that's me. Because I but not even in rap. Like growing up, you go outside and niggas are snapping, there's nothing that's off limits. All right, that's all right, time out. Let's get to the shit. All right, time out. Time out. Let's get to the shit. You don't never invite a man to your dick and, and you don't never like that. shit no, like that. That's obviously. what this is. It's a, yeah, it's, but it's like other than that, it's like those rules else, are like, Listen, just When that back. fucking Duffy freestyle came out, nigga. Hold up now. Cause we we still MCs here. You know Kanye ain't ready for that fucking smoke. 
That's well, why. That's why, yeah, that's why he said he wanted all the that's demons. That's why he answers it. That's why he answers it. Got it. All right, I understand. Yeah. yeah. He understand. said in the in the I got records, I, got I want all the demons. I Levi out of this. I want all of the curses. I got <laughs> curses, it. rather, not demons. Yes. I don't think that's fair. I don't think Kanye should be able to have a push. Why? He needs a push. <laughs> Which is why he has a push. Back to New God push. Flow. There you go. I don't feel like he should have <laughs> Dressed one, in no. New God Flow. <laughs> it's like back when Sean had Puff. <laughs> See, niggas thought I was crazy for my little Eminem slaughterhouse, like, I got a theory about these super big niggas, man. They need niggas like this. Of course. Of course. Nigga. Yeah, what? Everybody, every, even... <laughs> why they won't say always it? always had that. But why they won't say it? I think you Why the fans it. don't acknowledge that? Because fans don't acknowledge it until you tell them what it's to wild, acknowledge. But Joe, Joe need that acknowledgement, man. He need it, boy. He want it. I quit. <laughs> you, you, I quit. You need me. You better tell you need me. <laughs> like, you're no. crazy. You, you, you are crazy, man. Like, Wait. That's true. Wait. I've been telling him that for years. Wait, Wait, how do you get I've that I've been from? telling him that for But years. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> But you would like it. No. Yes, you would. I, I just would. <laughs> yes, you would. I wasn't willing to do the things that come with it. Like, I understand. I understand. Like, the position that, that Push speaks about, him being in, the position of the the person that's normally viewed from the lesser standpoint, mm-hmm. I normally understand it. Yeah. I, I don't feel like, see, and that's why I guess I'm asking certain questions to Push. Right. I do not feel like Push cannot make a hit record. I do not feel like Push, because of his content, is restricted from competing with these new fuckity fucks. I feel the exact opposite. Yeah. I feel like this very minimalistic sound, he kind of engineered that. He was part of it. <laughs> yeah. Hell hath this, no this, fury. This was... new sound where things are kept very bare. Yeah. I was there when his very bare sound took over everything. And I was forced to compete with that too. Some niggas have to just compete with everything. Mm-hmm. So as somebody who had to compete with everything, there's some shit that you're willing to fight for is some shit that you just not. So when he speaks to these things, I understand it. I don't want that acknowledgement. Push actually in retirement, that's why it's so bliss. No, no, no. I I I, I yeah. Because it's like you got, you, you got the retirement. Holy club, shit. I found <laughs> I found a way out of the the rat maze. Yeah, facts. <laughs> because I do feel like it's a rat maze. Be clear. And, and listen, you guys are seeing like the inside of us just talking right now, but like I don't know if you see these beams up here and shit. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. Like one, I don't know like when you walk up to the home <laughs> like it's uh what do you call it? It's sprawling. Sprawl. Like sprawling <laughs> like it's certain words like yeah. you don't know what this glow is about until yeah. you walk. So yeah. let me be here to tell you, you can live like this with twenty two dollars in right, your account. Right. <laughs> and it'll be good. It'll be yeah. fine. You, you'll be perfectly fine. Just pay your taxes in that court. Did you ever get to? I want to ask you about that. What's Did that? you ever get to? As 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 creatives, you kind of always are in a place of self doubt because we just live there. We never know. We're always going on our own judgment. You, and I always put you with the most successful 41-year-old niggas. Was there ever a place where the doubt concerned you? No. Um, No. I mean, you know. This nigga's the coolest nigga in the world. Listen, it's, um, I never felt doubt, but mind you, my whole career has been stutter, stop, stutter, stop. It, like so, I never got to feel like when we put it out, when we put out the, the the music, it's good. But it was always stutter stop, and I feel like even those stutter those stutter steps and those lag times between the projects even helped. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sort of even like ordinarily it probably wouldn't help, but I don't know for whatever for whatever reason it worked out in my favor, mm-hmm. and it has worked out in my favor. Sometimes it's like not nice to hear from everybody all the time. You know what I mean? In this, in you this know, era, it's doing, yeah, I'm envious. That, all I'm the time. envious. Well, it's that, 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 and then it's doing this thing that people aren't really doing. That's true. And then you know, yeah. it's like, the and then you then you're mystique. rhyming over shit that the really albums were ain't, always dope. The yeah, albums were always dope. Is what it comes down that. to. But it's like, but it's but it's like you're rhyming over shit that ain't really what is to be rhymed over right now. Yeah, like. Doing all those things, yeah, it's nasty. Sort of, 
That's nasty. I think it sort of preserved me, though. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it really has preserved me, my content. It's, it's preserved everything that, 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 that I stand for. Mm-hmm. That I, you know, it, 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 it's the reason why Daytona, musically, content-wise, can sort of feel Hell Hath No Fury-esque. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just, you know... Mm-hmm. And yeah. go, you can get back in those chambers again, and people feel refreshed. Like, oh shit! Yeah, let's yeah. stay on that content for a second. Where do you fall on this new argument that I'm seeing between the new guard and the old guard of the way we talk about drug distribution? <laughs> like, yeah. I feel like you're the perfect person to ask. With all of these people dying due to drugs, right? And with our generation coming from the dealer aspect, what do you think of the young people's retort of? Y'all spoke about it this way. We speak about it this way. There is no right or wrong. Um. Well, there is no right or wrong. Because you can't tell somebody how to sin. You can't. Um, and you have to, you do have to be mindful. The young generation are the, are the byproduct of like single families, you know, fathers, you know, being gone, probably sent away for drugs or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. They have a, you know, they have a bad taste in their mouth about, you know, drug trafficking, period. Mm-hmm. I mean, Reagan, Reagan. probably yeah, yeah. probably just, you know, subconsciously. Mm-hmm. I would, you know what I'm saying? Subconsciously, they Got probably it. do. Um, you know, we were, we were new at it. We were new and desensitized to it. Like, we didn't, we just came up. We getting money. Mm-hmm. That was it. We the destruction is later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't, um, I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't really get into. I try to get into the in, into the mind of uh, the youth. Really, like I, I mean, I try to understand everything about them. And when I think about it. When, when when I really think about it and I think about everybody who was great before me, that's why they're whack now because they didn't think about the youth. They didn't think about the youth. They didn't embrace, they didn't embrace the youth. They didn't. They were so busy caught up in their time. Mm. They were so busy caught up in we the illest. We were so much iller than y'all mm-hmm. that they got whack and washed very quickly. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Do you, do you think that there's hangover from our generation feeling like we were the illest. So this new attitude that exists amongst the younger artists of not a lack of respect from people from the older guard, but certainly a lack of empathy for anything that the old guard was trying to teach. New time, new rules, new bosses, new everything. Right. I didn't have a question. I mean, you know, no, 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 no. I, I think that, um, I think that you have to be sympathetic to the to to, to an understanding of 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 what the new regime is bringing in. You gotta you gotta look at it. We was running up to these labels. We were trying to get signed. They're doing it from their home. Well, they're fi- the, they're we, finding their followings at home. We they're, had labels to run to. <laughs> well, no, nah, I mean, we, you know, they got labels. Same labels as here. There's three of them. Whatever. <laughs> they there. Also debatable. <laughs> they there. But what I'm saying is, these kids is really doing it for themselves. And you got to respect that. Like, I mean, just imagine, imagine like really building something from the ground up and, and, and feeling like you're not respected from somebody else who actually didn't build from the ground up. We right. got, we, we all got talent. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, some like some of us had to hustle. We had to hustle differently. Lot, we went and asked yeah. for it. Yeah, they built it. They made it. Got it. And then we came looking for it. Mm-hmm. Well, we come looking for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True. I have, go ahead, Roy. With the drug thing, though, if I listened to a Pusha T album right. and went outside and tried to emulate that, I would quickly find out that I'm not built for that life. Yes. It's I would a, call you extreme. first and tell you not to go outside <laughs> yeah. and try to yes. do those yes. things. So, but. <laughs> and you look like a cop. So that would, I was yeah. speaking for the kids. You look like you, Jay Ring. I was speaking for the kids, guys. Oh, I'm, I'm 28. I thought you were talking about you. You were thinking about you, my nigga. Like, nah, if the kids go. are going now. You got to get off my block, bro. They, they can. <laughs> 
All right, my are bad. You done? Are you yeah, done? my bad. All right, cool. <laughs> Uh, if the kids listen to this music, it's mad easy to go cop lean. Like, right. you don't need to be a certain part, like, from a certain club to go do that. It's not the most effective drug. Like, if you kids are really trying to get high, lean is not the way to I just go. Think it's, I think it's more impressionable. <laughs> I, I think the coke rap, people were just enjoying it. They wasn't cups, going out and doing it because they knew lean. they couldn't do it. <laughs> you got to take fucking 20 cups of lean. Um, oh, this shit is hitting me now. <laughs> like, I think kids listen I don't to, understand to the kids. drug rap now and go do it because it's easy to get. Selling drugs was hard. <laughs> you couldn't just Facts. go out and do it. You know what? I'm glad you said that, Rory, yeah. because just the other day, I was thinking in my head, because when I tried to sell drugs, I failed, because you right. had to stand outside. And you know how easy it was yeah. to just buy drugs? None Mad of the drugs. I don't feel like the drug dealers today have to stand outside. They got no, things no. really easy. Yeah. I feel like I could be a drug dealer today <laughs> if I'm just doing it from the phone in the crib, <laughs> the burner. Mo, how are you doing this? I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about right now. I have right. no idea what's going on. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Uh, Push, I want to get back to some of this Drake beef because it's my job to be a little bit petty. Okay. Boy, I thought he flamed you niggas up when he said I can never have a Virgil in my circle that hold him back because he makes me nervous. Come on. Where were you at when you heard the line? You text Kanye was, like, oh, he ain't playing I was with in, us. Uh, I was in, uh, <laughs> what's that city you live in? Yeah. Was that Steven <laughs> Victor's house? Wait, 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 say it. Say it out loud. That's Steven say it Victor, out loud. man. You don't even know where I'm he lives. I'm watching you, nigga. <laughs> say, huh? Nah, I was, oh, I was in that That's city. somewhere where money is from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 close. It's, it's close to that. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah, yeah. But um, it ain't New Haven. Yeah, man. You know? <laughs> no. I, I heard it. I heard it, and I was like, okay, he, he going in for sure. I, I felt like he was going in for sure. I felt like... um. I felt like he had a real issue with Ye. Man. That was the bar that told that for me. Yeah. Like, it was like, like oh, oh you being issue. catty like this. I mean, he started this shit out with talking to Push for one second and then just said, all right, but your producer doesn't write anything either. He went with Ye right away. Were you disrespectful? <laughs> Speaking of what he went to by the, by the uh, right away, were you offended by the sigh? <laughs> the sigh? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm you're serious. About, you're talking about the top of the record. If a nigga get oh. on a fucking song, don't, don't sigh at me. And then no, ask if you had the audacity. No, Come man. on. How did you no. really feel? He sighed at you. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I look at him differently. Like, I don't, I don't, I, like, I don't believe what. What Maul believes. believes. Yeah. yeah. Maul pussy. Damn. No, no, Maul been pussy What's for a while. Believe, though? Though? Come on, you I know, know like, what you believe. I'm listening to music. Nah, 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 nah. You believe like things. I'm listening to music, too. Yeah. You believe things. I'm listening to music, I like bro. Listening to music I'm just too. listening to music. So oh, I get that nigga know, push. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I'm no, just no. listening to music, No, no, me too. And I like it. I love I love, I love, love a lot of music. All music. What did you think about Scorpion? Did you like the album? No, I didn't think it was that good. Oh, come on, push. No, I didn't. I'm going to tell you. I didn't. I didn't. For real? Nah, real shit. I'm a, my favorite joint, Jaded. Bro, I listen, I got like, trust me. So you are, see that's so push that. Yo, time out. All right. Yeah. You don't like out. mob ties? Yeah, 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 of course. Come I'm on. just saying, I don't I didn't think it was like time I didn't out. think the album. You think it was too too many records? If it was condensed to maybe about twelve. If 13, it was condensed, it would have been like it would have been hard. Okay. It could have been hard. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of filler, a lot okay. of shit that I did. All need. the shit he was dissing. Yeah, yeah, yeah was the filler. like all, like side A. <laughs> <laughs> no, mob ties. He was mob ties. He was it was shots thrown, but that's still a good record though. Yeah, the whole side was. A was shots. Yeah, yeah, it was good. That's a good record though. I like mob ties. <laughs> Yo, Push has. <laughs> I watch a lot of documentaries. I watch a lot of Channel ID. Of what, man? Push has a lot of serial killer tendencies. <laughs> Yo, no, man. I don't know how people are listening to this. Stephen Victor, you need a microphone, man. Push, do you, you are you hearing these things about Bruh. yourself? Uh, uh, like, I don't even know what you, well, why? What did I do? I'm giving you all the straightest answers ever. It's kind of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, how how you, you assess, you're asking for. how you, that nigga just home on Jaded. <laughs> <laughs> because, no, because it is. That's my favorite but joint. That's one, but that's one of our favorite. We that's agree that's one of our shit. favorite. But I know I'm, I'm psycho. I'm not hold you. That's my shit. Yeah, but I'm a nutcase. So yeah, like, that's supposed on. to be my shit. Yeah, yeah. Why is Push... You know what I mean? I have to go into a crazy yeah, beef with the nigga. Yeah, man. <laughs> nah, crack. Yeah. I do like that you're able to compartmentalize that way, though. Yeah. All right, good. So, uh, <laughs> let's talk about, because uh, I know people going to be asking, the whole uh, you're from New York thing. 
He is from New York. Just clear well, that up. Just clear I, that up one start. time. No, he was born York. in the Bronx. By, I lived there for two years. By, I was raised in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Please. That's right. New York's so you can New York City. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. From the Bronx. Bronx. What, man? Push, when you get a passport, what does from it say? From Gun Hill. When Gun you get a passport, what does your birth certificate say, say nigga? Passport says New York, New York, huh? I don't know. Does it? <laughs> no, you know what the fuck It may say saying. Norfolk, Virginia. I'm not sure. Yeah, I bet. Oh, <laughs> Norfolk man. and New Gun York. Gun Hill Zone. <laughs> yeah, but that's a New York thing. We claim, yeah, all, about the to say. We claim all the niggas yeah, that we do. We, still claim, like, when we still claim Michael wow. Jordan, so we're going to claim Push. That's funny. Yo, I had to read the ad last week, and BT, who I didn't think knew too much about me, was like, uh, they had me say I'm from Harlem. Boy, the fans tore me apart because I said because I, I said I'm from Harlem. I, I've always feared that about the Bronx thing. I always feared that. It's true. Like man, it exists. It's a real me thing. Say, me say me saying I'm I'm born in the Bronx or from the Bronx, whatever the case may be, and then somebody just come and kill me. Like Look, you live here two years. Get the fuck out of like, here. We ain't claiming you like that. Drake said you saw everything from the window, like Nas. Yeah, man. You ain't do shit. Just, I know. He says, shut up. <laughs> I, yo, I, I heard him. Stephen Victor. <laughs> Stephen Victor. What are you supposed to say? Oh, hey. Push was in hey. Greenwich, Connecticut. Hey, I, you know what? I don't want to talk to Push for a minute. What was Stephen Victor thinking when Drake was like, hey, shut up. You ain't see shit, nigga. Shut up. I would have bought a car. That's the way to get over it. <laughs> yeah. Facts. If you're going, that's Facts. the way, that's the way yo, to get over it. Hey, look, let me tell you about comfort. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I'm going to tell you about comfort. That's a- Listen, I'm going to tell you about comfort. Two Ferraris, a wedding. Mm. You want to talk about comfort mm. during war? Okay, very comfortable. Bruh. Very comfortable. <laughs> the comfort during war... That was disrespectful enough. I, yeah. I will say, no, I will say, Push performing at his own wedding made me feel like he was mad comfortable. Man, that was, that was listen, man, that was Clark Kent, man. He put me up to that. Push is at his own wedding. This is the games we play. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, nigga, you... You're in the war you're right now. You're supposed to be in love. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is he got a tux on? Yo, what the hell? Look, man. Clark Kent, man. Shout now, out to Clark Kent. Tell me how Shout this, out to Clark. Tell me how... And shout out to Clark Kent. Tell me, how, tell me how this marriage thing is. For What's someone right? who's getting, like, pressure in the house... Me. Oh, really? <sighs> Let me tell you something. Uh, all of that dies once you do it. She won't care anywhere. She don't care where you go. She don't want to look at you. That's why I'm going to do it. She don't listen. <laughs> she, listen. That is she exactly. Won't, she won't mind. She like, go. You're here. Why? Like, bruh. I'm doing that shit. Bruh, peace. Peace of mind. <laughs> Peace of mind? <laughs> that's all you needed to hear. Peace of mind? I keep telling Love Hip Hop, that's why I'm going to do it. Listen, peace of mind. Push told they, you. Look, I know something Bruh. wrong with Love and Hip Hop. Like, you sure you want to go through with this? Peace of, peace of mind. Peace of mind? Wow. Ba- listen, this have, nigga had peace of mind. Here comes fucking your, Aubrey. Where's your Stephen Victor? <laughs> peace of mind. I want peace of mind. Rory and Parks are about to move in with their girlfriends for the first no, time. I'm, I'm in. I moved in next Monday. Oh, she's there now. No. She's there. She's at the crib oh, right now. Never come in there. <laughs> Enjoy, learn. It's great. You're such a like you. Peace of mind, though. When did you become I, so mature? What you call it? <laughs> yeah, it is, huh? When did I become one? This nigga's mad mature. Who knew that the man that said two could get you four like a double dead had peace of mind? Yeah, <laughs> and say two can get you four like. Boy, <laughs> I love that. I love performing. That's that. interesting. No, it ain't. The no, same nigga is. that does this. <laughs> <laughs> that's just muscle memory, it's not man. Really, a, I know. It's I know. muscle memory. No, I got it. I got it. No, you man. got peace of mind, though. I got it. All right. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I don't think... Somehow, I think I don't... I didn't come in here with questions, but all of them are answered somehow. Yeah. That's a great conversation. This is the end, I'm assuming. <laughs> well, push, <laughs> push just made it clear. You don't give a fuck about nothing. But you know what's funny about you, man? What's that, bro? When you gonna be this this nigga with somebody else? I, Shoot I at somebody you. else. There's somebody else for you to have a, a war I, of words I, with. I, there I is. It would have to be. Who, are people, you stepping up? Do people even use words? I'm not looking for push smoke. <laughs> people people even, don't even use words in music anymore, bro. They're not. It's like all melody driven. It's not even that energy. He He's like... He plays in that world because he's 
you know, he's well versed in, you know, the, uh, what is it, the the Hove generation, I think. Mm. I think so. Oh, I'm glad you asked that too. What's that? Because how's you and Hove's relationship? It's really good. Hove is always somebody that has shown an affinity for you and vice versa. Yep. Super good. Like, um, like Drug Dealer Anonymous Part 2. I wish. Hey. But, but you know what type of, hey. that type of relationship? Talk about it. Hold on. Let me hit a gunshot. Only, only, only if I felt like the record was that good. Like, I don't, you know. Do you think you got hold on that? I'm talking about no bullshit. I ain't texting, emailing about no bullshit. Like, if it's some crack, mm. Mm. I'm sending my verse over. Listen, just listen. You tell me it's good, bad, add your verse to it. That's it. Who do you I think? Mean, that's, how I, that's how I did Drug Dealers yeah, Anonymous. Yeah. Period. Who do you think got who on that? Because that's a big debate amongst me and my friends. Uh, <laughs> and it's pretty split. Now look at Rory and his friends' debates. <laughs> Push versus Jay-Z. I, I think so that's a pretty I'm cool debate. That's a good in, debate. In that group yeah. chat. Your group chat is trash. Um, oh, compared to what we talk ours about. Ours is trash, too. <laughs> They're both trash. Ours is way worse. They're both trash. Hey, man. You can say it, nigga. You got that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why we just can't feel like we can't never say we got hope? No, hope we got you, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? You win some, you lose some, god damn it. No. Text, text us about it. No, no, no. It was a good one. It was a good one. Who came up with Snitch? Uh, Pharrell. That shit was with, the, with the title? Like that Pharrell. acronym. Yeah, oh, Pharrell. 100%. Um, Go Pharrell. That's Where's it. Chad, man? It was. I mean, Chad's around. He's around. He's, he's on tour. <laughs> Nigga, he's been around for 20 years. <laughs> for 20 <laughs> years, you keep Chad, saying, where's Chad? Yeah. This is just the GOAT acronym, though. <laughs> I, like, for no, sure. I, when, I when agree. I, when y'all I miss, said no, that, I couldn't believe it. no one had it is seen it. that. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I can't think of a better acronym in yeah. hip-hop history. Yeah. That's Period. Like, <laughs> yeah. Can y'all? I'm, I don't no, say that because he's sitting here. That's... Cause you know how niggas try to accuse us of sucking dick when there's a guest here. I I say that we've said that before. I feel like yeah, man, nobody should ever accuse y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Yeah, we said that. Someone should not ever, push us about to, ever, to ever, pick us up real quick. Hold ever on. accuse y'all of that real shit. Like y'all y'all know y'all shit. Like y'all really know y'all shit. Like this shit is fun because y'all know y'all shit. Right. Like it's this shit is not spice. funny. Listen, yeah. I, listen. I told him I wasn't doing any more interviews ever. Right. Ever. Listen, and this isn't an interview. When like, you yeah, it's, it's not, not an interview. It's not an interview. Be clear, but, this but, is not but an interview. But I, I told him this already. Like ever. I'm yo, I'm not doing like, no, this. Yeah. Like, bro, we we talking on a on a real fucking mm-hmm. level. And I, I feel like I'm talking to people who really know what the fuck is up. That's like, important. That, that's that's and important. I don't it's not always like I appreciate that. that. With, with that said, what well, is why Virginia most niggas stop doing producers? interviews? As far as the state. Wait, where does what? Let me hear that question. Number where does one. Virginia number rank one. as far as number producers one. go? In, number in one. States? They're right there. They're right there. Number one. <laughs> Vers, versus who? New York would have the to be The whole there. country, I'm saying. Cali is close. Cali but I, just tell me there. about the other places Texas, that are there. Texas would have to be Texas up there. Texas is up there. Atlanta is up there. Yo, man. Yeah. I don't know, but Virginia has like They got Nazi, Teddy Riley, <laughs> Timberland, and Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley's from New York. Teddy Riley's from Harlem. That's true. We can't do that. You're right. Not stay. He set up shop down there, right? If you got, if yeah. you got, if you have, if you got the Neptunes, Timberland, uh, Knots, Pharrell, Bink. Well, Neptunes, Bink, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah, Bink too. Can never forget. I Bink. for real, uh, for real, M- yeah, Missy, Missy. Yeah, like you gotta like, and I'm and I'm, now now you gotta look at them and say, all right, Tim didn't change music three or four times. You would say, yeah. Pharrell and Chad own the charts during they run what fifty one percent of the Billboard. Like, nah, producers number one, number one. Can we get a Drake? I mean, not Drake. Can we get a push in? Uh, yeah, I was thinking about something. Nah, no, you thinking about you thinking about Drake? <laughs> can we get a, can right? We get you was thinking push, about Drake though? No. Can we get a push? <laughs> so why you said uh, a Ross EP? Uh, a push in Ross. Yeah, that'd be. Dope. I would like to hear y'all too. Like. That'd be dope. He's 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 uh Ross is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorites, and definitely a person who I, I always say it. I, I can send him a record and turn my back and know that it's gonna come back how it needs to come back. One, yeah, one hundred percent. Period. One hundred percent. As a fan, I, I I want that. I need that. I, yeah, I just that'd need be that. Dope. Some about at least six records. Yeah, push that'd would sound good with anybody from that camp. Hip hop is real clickish. Yeah, what, have real, you and like, Meek worked together? 
we've done maybe two records together. I mean, you know, just a throw yeah, the verse yeah. back and forth. And um, you know, I don't I don't really like asking people for features. Unless I f- like, you know, it's not it's not just gonna be gratuitous. Like, yo, let's just let's get in. Mm. Like, no, mm. like if it's a joint mm. and right. I found a joint mm. and I feel like you belong on it, or I have nothing else to say on this verse. I mean, nothing else to say. Like, mm-hmm. then I'm then I'm gonna ask. Then I'm gonna start. Then I'm gonna go in that part of my brain and be like, okay, well, who would fit? Who sounds good? That's that's the only time I'm asking for a feature, for real. Like I don't. Other than that. And I and I and I go out and ask. Like I'll be like, "Yo, what's up, bro? Can we get this done?" And I, you know, sometimes I get to run around, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, drag you. Ass, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be yeah. careful about that yeah. asking shit. No, but I do. I mean, you know, like that's part of just, you know, that's rap fan shit with me. If if I lose all the fan in me about this shit, might as well stop. I'm gonna call you and ask you, like, "Yo, reach out to you mm-hmm. when when you acting." You know, high and mighty, or when your managers is acting crazy, I don't even, I ain't even taking it no way. I'm just, let me ask you if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. If not, if not, and know that I, you know, I know that I'm extending myself as a fan. Yeah. And that's it. Maybe it'll come back around. The state of Def Jam, and I think Def Jam is trash. That's just oh, my man, personal. On, man, we here. It's my personal. Steven Victor. We here, man. We, we here. You got this nigga there. <laughs> He the fuck? What is it? What's the? <laughs> they what's bought the title that car. Called? What? What happened? What's your title call? What EVP? <laughs> is that a better acronym than snitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he knows. He, 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 he know, they yeah, know what he knows. The, I'm here. He's he's the EVP. All right. EVP. <laughs> so what's your relationship with Paul Rosenberg? Oh, Paul Rosenberg. Is he not? The yeah, head of Def cool Jam? Fuck. I mean, we fuck with him. What's up? I'm just curious. I, oh, no, no, no. There was cool. an announcement, and the, then that was it. The standing of the label of your label, okay. the label you're president of, okay. with your current distributor, is of what? Um, We're... Doesn't seem so gratuitous. What do you mean? We take... I mean, we're 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 under that umbrella. I'm aware. Uh, but we Thank have you. the... We have the... <laughs> The leisure freedom to, to operate, operate how we wish to, month by month. Stephen Victor, he's texting. Convenient time. Good is a different thing. Oh my good bad, is a different listen. animal, man. Like good is a different animal. Like that can I ask? Move. Can I ask you or Stephen Victor? What are I love the, that he's not even Steven. I love that Steven his name Victor. is yes. two first <laughs> names. <laughs> and anytime I've heard someone refer to him, it's been that way. Cause yeah, Stephen Victor. <laughs> but uh, damn it, Ryan, I forgot my fuck. Are there any other? Oh, I remember that. Are there any other uh, <clears throat> subsidiaries under Def Jam outside of good music? I know when I was there, that was home of the subsidiaries. It was right. Disturbing the Peace. It was Rockefeller. It was Rough Riders. It was, uh, and then after the whole Irv Feds Prem thing, right? Def Jam kind of stopped that. Just doesn't seem like for y'all. Yeah. Period. I mean, not now. Of course, now it's fine. But throughout the course of the years. Right. So are y'all the only subsidiary there presently? Um, Or is there another conglomerate that that is under? I don't believe so. What what are the couple, Stephen Victor? (laughs) You're clapping. You're pointing at him and he pointed to you. (laughs) (laughs) Now it's a whole open hand to push. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't worry about it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. I'll play. I'll, I got a drop or something to play here. Here. Was this I got you. Don't worry about it. Shout out to Paul. No, eating it too? It's fine. It's fine. I just be wanting to know. Was he with Erica? What were you getting um, this though, man? Erica? Nothing there. <laughs> no, he got to it. He got to it. Speaking of uh, term, Def Jam, what's, what's the status with a designer? Because he was the first one you signed, right? Oh, right. yeah, Push. You got to answer for it, nigga. I'm what's sorry. What's the latest I'm status? Sorry. What do we got to answer it's for? It's your it? fault. For my fault of what? Whatever <laughs> is at fault. <laughs> Come on, Push. Yo, that's my problem. Y'all nigga, you can't act disillusioned. You know what's going on. Y'all fuck designers whole shit up. How do we? What do you mean? How do look we? Look out, Roy. Let me look at this nigga in the eyes. <laughs> Huh? How do we fuck designer's whole shit because up? Because designer had a big record that was working for him locally and regionally. 
And yes. Kanye needed some tick. <laughs> that, that's a word I just learned. So he then takes this record, puts it on his album, changes the structure of it a little bit, and now it's a Kanye record, which is great for both parties. I don't think that's a Kanye record, man. In no New, way. In New York City, no fucking it way. wasn't. No. But to the rest of the world, play the designer no version way. No to the rest of the no, world, that's a Kanye West record. No way. They, they don't play. They don't play, play that record. Unless you're in New York City, that's Who a Kanye play, West play record. record. Who don't play what record? They don't no, they don't. Play the designer yeah, version yeah, no more. It's it's they don't. It's always the Kanye version now. What? Don't worry about it, Push. Look, Push, man, yo, we love you, my nigga. Sixteen million singles later. We love you. We love you. Listen, man. He good. But designer wait, no, no, it. no, he's not good because Designer had another project where he was looking for that support. Fam. Designer was looking for <laughs> All right, that don't support. Worry about it. Listen, don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry listen, about it. Listen, we support worry Designer. It. Huh? We support Designer? Y'all did not support Designer's second project. Bro. I think he even put it out on like that fifth Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo designer was like, yo, that this is it. Happen, no, that didn't happen. No, no, come on. Yo, no, nah. Designer shit came out in July. Didn't do that, <laughs> man. Designer came out July? That's crazy. Come on, oh, Bush. You crazy. know what the fuck y'all <laughs> did. I don't see another record yeah. that got that energy. Bruh. Answer to. Defend no, no, no. it. Listen, he, he brought that record in anyway. Designer well, no, nah, we know that. that. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Yeah, he brought that record. No, I was popping when y'all Did he bring another one in? No, he was the... That was the record. Isn't his fate the same way McConan's fate was on Drake? Like, McConan's on Twitter now saying, yo, got some heat coming. We don't care. <laughs> like, the same, the same way that niggas don't care oh, about McConan's new album. No, man. fuck McConan. Why y'all all laughing? Man, fuck him. Uh, it's Why? the same way nobody really seemed to have a lot of energy for designer's second project, Label included, even though designer was all on the BT festival stages that the management has to auction off. You know those crackhead stages that niggas perform <laughs> on. Y'all know that this Steven Victor don't the fuck I'm talking about. I'm tied down. Yo, man. Push answer for it. <laughs> He's not even sure what he answered. Yeah, well, he don't even know the question. He's not even sure what the question is. I don't even know. I don't worry about it. There ain't no question now. Forget it. Don't worry about it. Shout out to McCona. Oh. Shout out to designer. Shout out to McCona. Shout out to designer. You, fully you will say that. Is okay. he on the label? I'm looking yes. up fully. 100%. <laughs> sure. okay. I got to look For up sure. what fully means. Oh, so Why he's didn't still, he get one of the seven? He's still there? No, I mean, he ain't trying to get away from you time. niggas. It wasn't his time. Hmm. It wasn't his time. I, I mean, the block was the block. Why the is it not his five, time? The block of the five was the block of five. <laughs> I know, but time. but but he he was like in the sixth, seventh week. He did have a project. He, so why y'all didn't like nah, collaborate was, with him? <laughs> Thanks, no, what I'm asking. I think it was before the, the rollout. That's why I, was, I think we're I lying. Think I think right. we're lying. His but. album came out the week before Push. No, I ain't. Savon, <laughs> no, check right to see when Designer's time. album came out. Was, and I guarantee that he tried. Yeah. It was right before. It was right before. Yeah, it was like wait, wait, Park, don't say a word. Everybody's silent. Do you hear that? You hear how Steven Victor knew? <laughs> yeah, May 4th, hey, 2018. Hey, hey, Steve Victor, I know too. Manipulative. Hey, hey I knew too. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> no, we're I'm good. Wait, tired. wait, hold the fuck on. We're good, we're good, we're good. I'm Designer's done. album had seven records on it too. Mm. <laughs> Actually, that's what I want to ask. Push, push. Yes, sir. I that's have, insane. I have, a, I have a reoccurring. Stephen re Victor whispered coincidence from the back. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, designer tried to get down with the seven song movement. I think it's Stephen Victor text designer so fast, <laughs> fam. If you don't move your fucking nasty date, you don't. <laughs> if you don't get away from us, we have a push a project. Get away from us. <laughs> yeah, me, Kanye, Trump, all. You, you gotta move, <laughs> what designer. You, Go call BET. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn, I had an important Holy question. Shit. I had an important question I was getting at before y'all started that bullshit. You, uh, damn, when was that shit? It was a really important uh, question. Def, we were talking about Def Jam. No, I don't care about Def Jam anymore. I'm, I'm off of Def Jam. I'm off of him and Drake. It's when you start hating him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. That's, when That's when it turned right there. When he's savvy, when he yeah. get real savvy with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, do do you harbor any ill will? Because this is what I do like. What's I that? do like that Drake is is publicly beefing with Adidas now, even though he had a deal <laughs> with them. Bomb. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> Bomb. Bomb. Checks over stripes. <laughs> like he had a deal in place. The crowd gets very loud at that bar too. Checks over stripes. 
That's what I like. You had a deal though. Yeah. The yeah. crowd that the crowd don't know you had a deal. That doesn't that doesn't that doesn't bother me at all. Was it you that ruined the deal? Come on, bro. <laughs> Is that yes? You burn all houses down. Everything. Yo, Stephen Victor. Now <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it's nothing I can say. No. Karen, and, and, and listen, somebody, listen, listen and listen. Not for real. He, I mean, you know, he did whatever he did. I don't, I don't even know the inner workings of it. <laughs> you didn't care. But, um, you know, the thing about Adidas, man, and and that bar and all that shit. Like at the end of the day, the house, the house that we're at at Adidas, man. We 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 got the creatives. We are the ones who. Are like I saw I, you at the I, long table. I would say, yeah, <laughs> I would say we're the gatekeepers of of we, this shit when it come to this. We know y'all bought and all the Nike designs. I mean, you know, whether you when you say you say yay, you say p, you say myself, like and Adidas as a whole, they they were first when it came to uh, embracing taste yeah. tastemakers and and embracing that whole energy. Like anybody else who does it, you know, more power to them. But it's first here. Adidas is the. We started this shit for real. How much input do you have on the design of your of your shoe, bro? It's fish scale on my shoes. Right. I actually think your <laughs> sneakers. Can you? Guys, I mean, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Maul and Pusha T. Can you guys explain to the audience that doesn't well, know listen, understand fish scale? Is, fish scale. I actually think. I actually think personally that your, your it was sneaker a ghost is actually a album. better looking sneaker oh, than so Maul the Yeezy sneaker. Me personally, I mean, it's just not a more popular. But For when sure. you look at the two shoes, I think that your does the sole come out? Really does the soul come out of your sneaker like it does the Yeezy when I wear it? Like when I take it off, the soul just comes out with it, and I have to find the soul. No man, <laughs> what you, come I don't on, know that man. man. Like, what are you? <laughs> he might have a fake joints. We don't come know. Come on, yeah. that's true. That's true. <laughs> he, he, he might. Have, he might have a fake joints. Listen, man. That's that's one thing yeah, I know. I know we real. strong at over there. The soul staying in. You're not strong at that. <laughs> the soul are strong. We. Are, we I have, well, strong. you've never sent me a pair of pushes. That's what I was. So getting. I don't I know. Like I, and Pharrell, and I, damn sure, I never sent me a pair of Pharrell. Yeah, I definitely. When you put out the last one, I watched everyone get gifted that shit. I definitely got y'all. Yeah. I'm texting Pharrell for a beat. Fab getting all the holler back youngins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fab in the studio. Woo! <laughs> something seriously wrong with you. Super. I couldn't get a hard ass grinding beat and Fab go, woo woo. The fuck out of yeah. here. All right. Uh, I think I'm satisfied somehow with all of these answers yeah. I've gotten. All I know is I, now I have to interview Steven Victor one day. <laughs> He's going to be <laughs> our, sat- our Saturday episode. No, but no, but push it. You said you wanted to clear up when you was talking about the twenty five song thing. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, j- just recently, I, some heat I had, for that. I had uh, just recently I spoke about you know going against the grain with the seven songs and 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 comparing it to how everybody's putting together these twenty five thirty song albums that you know are filled a filler. And I use the word uh, cheating, and I think people took that as me trying to compare streams or saying. Speaking for the lack thereof, streams mine may have had. Well, that's what cheating means, right? It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't about that. I, I feel like it was cheapening the art. It wasn't about cheating. Mm. And 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 when you make an album, like I, I never made an album and added records to mm. it that I felt like were like you know, mm, you, they they could just go on there. No, like I make an album trying to knock your head off, regardless of seven. 13, 10, whatever. And I don't feel like these longer albums are doing that. It has nothing to do with the stream or gotcha. whatever the case may be. Right. Now, they're doing it because of streams yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, but sure. it's not, I'm not putting myself saying like, oh, y'all cheating and that's why right. it's that versus me. It's not that. Right. I, that have a, I have a question that I ask everybody whenever I get a chance to talk to them because I don't talk to too many people. Um, do you feel that we need a union? Rappers. Um. Yeah, I think so. And 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 let me tell you why. Just because I'm gonna liken it to 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 what I felt about how the uh, how the Grammys made a new rap coalition. And I felt like mm-hmm. I felt like it was it was it was a good thing. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if we could implement that type of mentality, I wouldn't be complaining about, 
oh man, the BT Hip Hop Awards didn't recognize Daytona. Right. You know, if we could implement that mentality in a few of the different of the different places where you know, where we could make, you know, where everybody could get their notoriety and their, you know, the notoriety and their look off. Mm-hmm. And have people, you know. Is that realistic? Shit, we saw it with yeah. the Grammys. Yeah, it's realistic. We're seeing it with the Grammys? I saw them with the off-brand attempt of what they were trying to do. Well, it was the first do. time. Yeah, yeah, it was, the, it it was, was the first attempt. time. I won't knock them for the attempt. It was I the first it. time. I thought it was cool, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I ain't really, you know, because I've never cared Mm-hmm. I've, I actually never cared about it, mm-hmm. and then to see that happen, it was like, all right, well, let me tune in and see what's up. Right. You know, so it was like, I thought it was dope. How do, um... Yes, I want a union. Thinking about it even further, but go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. All right, <laughs> let, let, let's stay on union for a little bit. All right. Because I do believe it's very possible. Okay. It will take some unity and a whole lot of communication between artists that probably don't want to talk to each other. <laughs> but it's possible. It probably would take a stoppage of work. That's what Joe's brain says. I'm open to hearing other <coughs> ideas from other places. A stoppage of work to really get to really yield our leverage the right way. If it came to that, are you down to stop working altogether? Um, no. Not. I respect it. Not. I'm gonna stop when it's time to stop. Not before then to do something else and then I'm not gonna do that. But I'll stop. When it's time to stop, I'll stop. And I'll and I'll try to be hopefully my voice will matter enough that I can still be a voice for something like this. Got it. Gentlemen, I'm I'm clear. I'm yeah, I'm, uh, I'm super. I had one super quick theory. I'm big pleased. Yep. That when you made the McDonald's jingle, no. You no. were actually just making gun noises with your mouth and they put an effect over it. No, man. <laughs> no, man. When that, I, that's when, my when, theory. When, when, when Yo, did you really <laughs> write the McDonald's jingle, my nigga? Listen, man. This is what happened. You was like, making gun noises. Like, someone put an effect over it. You know, McDonald's uh, heard it. No, Steve, McDonald's no, no, heard no, 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 no. it. No, no, no. They they brought they brought this is the, this is around the Justin time and all that. Um for the clips. Mm. Like Mm-hmm. Around yeah, that time, um, Steve Stout basically brought us uh, brought us the whole idea of doing the McDonald's jingle. When when he brought it to us, he gave us the "I'm loving it," you know, uh, tagline. Tagline, yeah. And we basically just wrote to that. So you just wrote da 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 da. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no. But you know, within that. Um, you know, they just took pieces out, whatever the case may be. And I feel like McDonald's that. shouldn't have wanted to work with this guy. But it, it, but no, 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 no. And, and, Steven and, Victor again. And they got over. Like, they got over. Pay, a one, one time payout. Oof. One yeah. time payout. Wow. I said that. The, uh, you're the union. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Wasn't hip. Half a, what was it? Like a half. Me and my brother gave, gave me and my brother a half. Oh. Half, half a million. Oh, that's a pretty good payout, though. No. no what? Not, it's not. It's not. It's not. now. You're right. No, it is not. No, it is not. I can see. I, I just mean no, to say, at not. the time, I see why you were like, "Oh yeah." Whatever. But I, I, hey, I own forty percent of the Arby's commercial now. We hate Arby's. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't, Who goes don't, to Arby's? Don't, don't. Huh? Wait, hold on. We have the meats as you. <laughs> yeah, we, we own that. <laughs> what? Let's get the we fuck out of here. All right. That Steven is the most. Victor's got to call Ian, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we own that. Wait, push so him in. We are the meats. Wait, yeah. you're the meat. No, Wait, get the fuck out of here. It's four, yeah, it's forty percent of what that. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what else is yours? You own Netflix. No, <laughs> what the um, fuck? Yo, that's crazy, bro. That's what my bit. A lot of my, a lot of my business is in sinks and movies. And Yo, that's insane. <laughs> like that. Sinks is a wild word. I haven't. Huh? I'm aware of it. Oh, okay. Wait, what'd you say? It's pushed, no, he said it was the, trash. The new Venom movie? Yeah, you did. Wait, who saw yeah, Venom? Yeah, you did. You, you said I just heard a trash Pusha T record. Wait, Pusha, Pusha's on the Venom soundtrack? <laughs> oh, what a loser. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I will not hear Lord willing the same if Pusha's on the Venom soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like... Wait, are you like, on this spin no, no, some Venom? No, a lot Venom? of my business. No, for real. And I... I 
Yeah. Ice, we're talking to you. Yeah, over here. like no, a lot, a lot of my business <laughs> is in sinks and in and in movies and commercials. Who and taught him that sinks word? Was it you, Steven? I, I, that's I, a good I, word. I've Joe, never heard you that gotta word. know the sink game though. Well, this. that's how Kevin Lyles robbed me. So <laughs> he sinks your bank account? <laughs> No, when they was pitching all this, and, the and, soundtracks. And, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you where that shit really came. That and and that's that's one thing I can really attribute to Steven because he had me doing this all came about because he had me doing EDM records. Like just he used to just always be like, yo, get on this. Yo, you yo, and Calvin get Harris. On this. Yo, get on this. <laughs> I'm with it. And I mean like Steven I used to be like, Victor, man, why do I gotta get on this? Why like, were you why putting you push this? it to you on EDM records? To make money. Well, I mean, I know why. <laughs> they, they, well, fuck, what, they fuck. What, what did you know? hear? What Arby's. did you? I, I, I knew somebody that was. Um, he was just like, he was like, he liked the songs that had something like this. Oh, um, and you brought it right to the best drug <laughs> dealing artist in the world, baby. <laughs> hey, you drug dealing ass nigga. <laughs> right for Arby's, but make it like crack. <laughs> <laughs> this shit gonna sell itself. <laughs> yeah, and it worked. That nigga yeah. Steven Victor to push this nigga to greatness. <laughs> So my question to both of you, Yo, gentlemen. Let me know when you have a session. My question to both of you, gentlemen, is: I guess knowing what you know today, not just for y'all, but artists in general, are is there a predicament where we're able to fight for some of the things we know we're worth when we write when we write some of those things? Yes. 100%. Tell me about it. I mean, that's what you want. yeah, that's it, and demand it, like. I feel like if push demanded residuals, it might go different. No, I mean you tell me. I don't. I don't know. Or you hear a no. You heard what the nigga said. <laughs> Facts. We ain't doing it if it's a no. Well, I guess that makes sense. As simple as it sounds. This nigga done wrote for Arby's. This nigga about That's the, wild. This nigga about to write the Whole Foods commercial. <laughs> but I, I, I always speak about that when I, you know, because that was an L. The McDonald's shit was a super L. Like, in, in hindsight, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. first coming but in the game, like, set you up half for the a Arby's man, you to like, know what to get. I'm sure when you were 22 or whatever, you were like, shit. Half a man, <laughs> half a we million. up. Ah! Right, ba da ba 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 yeah. I can see I, that. IRS calls. True. <laughs> True. Facts. All right, we got sleepers. I'm, I think I'm I'm done. Is there anything that the audience will kill us about for not asking? Of course, they want five five more hours. Ice, you're good. good at that <laughs> stuff. Are we missing anything? Shut up, Ice. Are you say Vaughn? Uh, well, what I will ask that has nothing to do with anything. This has nothing to do with anything at all. So move back a little bit, Roy. Let me look at this guy in the eyes. Solange says she's coming with music soon. New music. And you seem like a Solange guy. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe. I mean, I'm just familiar with the. This nigga is a stone cold killer. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm only no, familiar no, no, with no, the, no, 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 no. I'm only familiar with the, with the, with the joint. Seat at the table or cranes in the Crank, sky? cranes in the sky. Like you know. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna end this interview now. <laughs> listen, <laughs> oh, I, I want to thank. For that. I know. <laughs> you should check out Seat at the Table. I'm, listen, so I'm really already. I'm, so I'm really sure. Yeah, you can stick up shit. for your wife like this and not listen to R and B. <laughs> no, no, no. I I do listen to R and B fully, like 100. percent I just and it's older R and B, not this new shit. I mean, you like Jaded, you know. What are you doing I, in your spare time, Push? Bro, I'm traveling 250 days out of a year, 275. When I go home, look at my look at my ground. I I post my dogs. I don't do nothing. I chill. This nigga's making a lot of road money out there. Like I'm, I'm hating. It's not you know. <laughs> Story travel. To go. That, That's what we do. What I will ask you though, yeah. And I'm finished. This inter- this conversation, that interview is is over. Um. Do you ever worry about about your health as it relates to touring so much? I'm sick now. I think I have like a, a respiratory infection, I believe. I I believe it's either getting there or like it like this I'm I usually travel with like a trainer, work out, do shit like that and I and I have not done it for what the past month maybe. Yeah, y'all got and, a lot of money. 
<clears throat> and and I I totally will never do it again. That's part of my rider from here on out. It's killing me, for sure. That's good yes. to know. I'm glad. I'm glad. Work to know out. That. Be healthy. Cut out your cigarettes, man. Boy, am I trying. I hate those fucking <laughs> cigarettes. They are nasty and fucking but, disgusting. I'm going. Listen, man. I'm going to die that, before you guys. For yourself. But Thanks. yeah, I'm because I'm I'm like sick as shit right now. Like I'm and I feel fucked up. And I've I haven't I haven't traveled like this without, you know, consistent working out and shit like that for a minute. And one month. Drake, he's not at a hundred percent right now. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the time to go. You can kill him and Ye and Sai and Big Sean and Janae. <laughs> You can kill Put your name what down. ice? What's up? <laughs> I can't hear you. Put some bass in your voice, my G. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That was, yes. that, was, that was volume one. Surgical summer. What yeah. was surgical? A lot. <laughs> It's a lot. Yo, you know what? I want to thank Pusha T for coming here today. Niggas like me thought the project was coming. A project full of smoke. Yeah. Oh no. Nah, I mean, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I, I, I thought it was going to be a back and forth. I mean, I was prepared for a, what, what I, you know, what, what I know him for. You got what spared, huh? He spared you. Did he? Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> listen, I'm listening to what the shop said, That's fine. man. But you know what? In That's a world, I will end this with this. I'll find my OVO cape. Let me put it on for a second. Hold up. It's a wild cape. Yeah, you know OVO's cape is light blue. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, in a perfect world, right. if you would have never done the 40 you about to die shit and Drake wouldn't have been so sensitive, while I won't say I think this would have been a it would have been. equal battle, I would have enjoyed I would have enjoyed this. I definitely this, wanted more records for sure. This, well, I, yeah, I would have enjoyed question. it. I would have. I would have. I would have. Do, you, do you guys think that that um, that battling today ruins careers or can ruin no. careers? No. No. Not at all. Not at all. It doesn't Not at all. so whack. I think that's it's a joke. so terrible. Yeah. Look at, that's a joke. Look so at right. Meek right now. It's so, Meek looks so great. Real. <laughs> yeah. Meek looks yeah. amazing. Now, and what is that about? That's just about people not... Karen or like I, think I don't think do that, that. No, what I is do. it about I don't think that I think we that, don't put much emphasis on it like what is it well I think the I think the uh I think the difficulty comes in battling is one of the original elements mm -hmm. and today hip-hop is the number one genre so that's at a crossroads <laughs> That's what I think. I think today there and are mixed more in with this is a very sensitive era that we in I for whatever think that reason nobody does it I think that yeah, it's it's, cool. it's a cool novelty thing to do, mm. but it's, no, I do it. But, but, no, listen, well, we're it's aware. a cool novelty thing to do, but not a lot of people can do it. So again, when just like you know, putting out records records for me more frequently now because I feel like they begin to dismiss mm -hmm. whatever yeah. that craft. I think they're dismissing the craft of that and like, okay, it happened, whatever. But it's not everybody can do it anyway. So whatever, mm. and you can come back from it. People just Well, It's listen, fine. if you're asking I, me, I feel like even the sport of competitive rapping, like battling, is not for it's not for all mainstream. It's not for everybody who's a fan of music. Listen, it's they, not. They just they denounce it. They denounce it. Like people think the comp, you know, the competitive nature of music is whack. Versus the, now they'll they'll talk about numbers. But as far as rapping, because that's goes, how they compete. No, yes. Right. But as far as the uh, as far as actual rapping goes, nobody competes in that magnitude like like but, that no more. But nobody's that, up at three in the morning when when the new smack fucking battles happen. Well, I was about me. to say, I'm like, I'm like is, yo, this shit is ill. But <laughs> is is, <laughs> like, is that because if left to opinion, there's no way to definitively define who is better because music is based on opinion. Like when I battled Hollow, that was the first battle they had <laughs> judges. The judges felt like I lost. I didn't feel like I lost. <laughs> like so, that's well, always going to be up in the air. But the numbers can't be argued or debated. And that's when you got to start getting into the science of how numbers come about. And that's where you lose fans because they don't give a fuck. Fans just know if you got the numbers, that's who I'm rolling with. They don't understand all the nuances that come with the entertainment business. Listen, man, I feel I, like I feel like watching this podcast, man, you know, always, you know, you, you should always strive 
if you're going to be in this shit, strive for greatness, you know, do what you do to the best of your ability and hope that you definitely reach whatever sales marks you need to hit. But this podcast is living proof that like, yo, it ain't, it's not always going to be 500,000 out the gate right. and you yeah. can have a life in this shit and be ill in this shit and be respected right. and be like, you know, uh, highly regarded as the guy with, you know what I'm saying? With the numbers, like, Know that you got to know that about this shit as well. Mm-hmm. For real. Oh, I think that's it, man.